Like, fuck me. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Ha, ha. That's the sound of the geese. So you're really going to block the star of Gore World just because I'm defending myself against people? Are you serious? The star of Gore World? Hey, girl gang. What up, everybody? Um, Let's start with an apology. I'm so sorry. I messed up. I missed our Friday. Oh, no. I'm so, so sorry. I was so tired yesterday and still these antibiotics in my ear. It's a whole mess. Anyway, I got home. I, I got a little minty. I put my feet up. And next thing you know, it was six hours later and I'm snoring, kind of sitting up, leaning sideways. It was a whole mess. Anyway, I slept through our Friday. Please forgive me. It's the weekend. We have time now. We will spend time this weekend and make up for it. We can talk about all the butt stuff and cheese discussions today. All right. Nothing is missed. Oh, how's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for being here. Good to see you guys. Uh, I was worried about you yesterday. It was just, it was like a normal, regular schmegular day for me. You know what I mean? I was gone all day. It was a heavy day at work also. And I, it's just, I'm really messed up still with this ear infection and antibiotics. I don't take like medication. So every, every time I have to take something, it hammers me, you know, Ugh, forgive me. Anyway, thanks again, everyone for being here. Uh, today we're going to be reacting, uh, to yesterday's mess stream, whatever. Hi, we're going to watch the hi stream. And then if we're not too bored at the end of that, we'll go into today's Hey guys. Okay. <laughs> we'll play it by ear. We will dip when we're bored. How's that? Hold on, hold on. Oh no, I'm behind on the chat. I'm so sorry. Kim, thank you so much for the super sticker. I, I've waited too long now. I can't see them on my screen. Forgive me, guys. Sonic Bex, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. Willow Tree, thank you for the super chat. Very nice of you. Um, Nomad Flicker, thank you also for the super chat. I appreciate it. Oh wait, Nomad Flicker, yours is still on my screen. Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. All right. Everybody put the bail money away. <laughs> bail for what? Bail for what? I don't know. Listen, listen. I understand. Tom, uh, Chantal talks, big, I would say big game, but she's got small game. Let her talk. Let her talk to herself. No one, no one cares. Keep talking. Talk yourself into a, a huff. I don't know. Talk yourself out of breath, but that's just two words. Whatever. No one cares. All right. Let me get the tab. That's what I care about today. Hold on. Oh, oh, I mean, we could we could have maybe a, one little BBJ update before we go on. Mm -hmm. BBJ, very, very well adjusted already to her new home. Happy as a little clam. Feet feeling fantastic already. She's like, do, 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 walking all over the house, living her absolute best life, eating like a champ still, being spoiled, uh, treated nice. She loves, loves to be brushed. She apparently, um, what do they call that when cat, you know, that grr, grr, the sound they make there purrs. She purred like all day yesterday. She's uh she's a little lover. So she's doing very, very well. Like I said, until the, the vet visit later on, like, uh, this coming week, that'll be the next BBJ update. All right. I'm okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> so oh i'm sorry for the quick pause i just forgot one more thing lil bbj is gonna have a catio there has been a catio now ordered for bbj that's a cat patio that you put on let's say your balcony for them and they can like chill sort of outside but also not outside so we'll see if she enjoys catio catio is all hers the option of catio will be hers anyway in the summer. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute to breathe. Hello, Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, Snow Kitty. Uh, pizza pepperoni, Lynn. What's this stuff? I ordered some things.
What's this? Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so this stream starts with a little McDonald's. Hold on, I didn't speed her up. That's my bad. We're going to speed her up. Eating the McDonald's that everyone's already told her is haram. But she's going to pretend like she doesn't know that it's not and is eating the, the fish sandwich because that somehow makes it better in her mind. Mm -hmm. Always better with feta. You're lying. It's not. But thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Oh, you're here for the cheese discussion? Okay, when you're when you're ready to discuss a real cheese, you join the discussion. Okay, feta is out. I ordered some chargers. They're frozen for my phone. Unboxing these. I have my lunch. Hi, Jessica P.S. Or Chinchilla. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Here. I have so many things coming. Like, I wanted to stock up before I go, like, on things I needed, but I can't get there. Some chargers. you can't order from oh, watch I'm starting with the end okay i think i have the streams mixed up i'm sorry i believe that the mcdonald's may be in the next stream so this is an amazon haul oh okay my bad <laughs> only slightly paying attention fair board chinchilla thank you for the super chat girl in kuwait oh so i ordered some socks like some comfy black socks um yeah. Uh, I have a new. Hey, GC, thank you for the super chat. A prayer dress. So I don't have to use my bio all the time. Hi, David. David. Okay. Uh, I saw a picture on Twitter this morning and now I understand it. I, I haven't watched any of this stuff. That That's the choice. That's the choice. <laughs> You know, every time she used to go shopping years ago before the ham like obsession started, everything was like a floral pattern. Always a floral pattern. Look at look at this. Look at this. What is this? Deja vu. I can just put it on because you have to cover up for prayer. Oh my I god, know. a couch cover. You know what? That would actually make a better couch cover than a her cover. That's for sure. A new selfie stick, a new stick like for my phone. What's this? What is this? Oh, it's a small animal cage for Howie. So it's like a fold out tent. It's gonna go in the middle of the floor. For Howie. Um and this is peach lip oil. It's supposed to be hello, Trixie. Is it fair? Okay, I I don't know if this is fair to me, but I still don't want to hear about Howie. Even though now we know, okay, all's well, all's well that ends well with the cat, sort of. But I still do not want to hear about somebody who just abandoned their two pets. Um, about your fucking rat fink. I just don't want to hear about a goddamn rat fink for real. I, I, the the nerve you buy in things for the rat fink. Did you ever ever buy anything for the cats? Did the cats even have like one toy, one just any possess like anything at all? Hmm. But Howie. Oh, we got a little thing for Howie. Who the fuck cares? Fuck you and your rat fink. How's that? Shannon verse. Thank you for the super chat, girl. See, you want to visit the Middle East? I cannot wait to get out of here. Hi, Sam. I'll be away from all the crazy stalkers. Yeah, I won't be there. Um, nobody can touch me there. Isn't it ironic? No one there wants to. <laughs> no one here wants to either. Bloop. Nobody can touch me here either. I dare them. You can try. But nobody definitely can touch me there or stalk me or be a crazy psycho. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> oh, my God. Cody, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> 
Would it be a real asshole move if we got BBJ, like a, a Gucci collar or something? I don't remember if it was Gucci, but on, on Twitch, sometimes we used to do like window shopping in the crazy luxury stores and they had like collars for pets and stuff. <laughs> Should we make our Gucci gang? <laughs> I swear to God, I'll get that cat a fucking Gucci collar out of spite. No, Allah will be in prison instantly if he tries to do anything. Instantly. They don't take that shit there. Actually, he's going to be in trouble as it is. Okay, listen. If you guys are down and as crazy as I am, we're going to have to plan a Twitch stream soon. Window shopping for BBJ's new ball and collar, okay? So, that's all I can say. Okay. So, I talked to a lawyer today. I have to call them back Monday. They're having a look into this whole situation. Oh, and another thing, before any of you hater ass beaches fucking start and say something, whatever the caller costs, I will match dollar for dollar and make a donation to a cat association in my city. How's that? So shut up. Say your fucking stupid words. And I'm going to sue the shit out of FFG. They look at her channel, they're like, this has been going on for how this long? Yep. This loser has been a parasite for years. And it's going to end, don't worry. Or every single penny you made off of me, you're going to give it back. Bye. Give it back to who? Give it back to YouTube? <laughs> give it back implies it was ever yours or ever could have been. Chantal, no. <laughs> Life doesn't work out like that, okay? Uh, two people on the same platform doing a thing. I don't, like, influence the other. You haven't given me shit except for the content. <laughs> Do you understand, Chantal? Girl, please, please. Just, I, I'm not going to react too hard to any of this, that all these stupid threats, because in my mind, this is also stupid. Big talk from a tiny, sad excuse of a person. And it's not lost on me that while she talks about suing me, she's stuffing her face with fries. <laughs> Actually, cat lover, you stupid idiot. Did you not see my community post? No, this is the thing. Nobody cares about the truth. They only care about hating me and proving me wrong. Stay mad, bitches. Because in those receipts, it showed that I offered to take her to the vet. So, suck it. Suck it. No, you offered too little and way too late. It doesn't mean shit. Okay. No one uh, is going to suck it. And it's not some, I don't know, slam dunk or whatever point you think that harping on this. I was going to take the cat to the vet the day that I gave away the cat. That's not a thing. You, you should stop saying that. She has no right to involve herself. If she asks and I say no, it should end there. The psychotic stalking because her nails grew too long is messed up. So fuck you all. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Doubling down. An animal abuser and neglector. Doubling and tripling. It just never ends, does it? Hilarious. What a fool. Keep going. Keep. It's just giving us more to laugh at you about. Delaware Pearl, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Plus. <clears throat> if I go off YouTube for a month exactly, I should pizza. I'm going to be taking a break soon. I will, I will, I will actually be off live um, soon until I go, go back to Kuwait. I have things to take care of. You've been saying that for four days. Four days. She's been saying the same goddamn thing over and over. Uh, uh, that's it for me and YouTube. I'm taking a break from YouTube. I won't be posting on YouTube every day. Just saying it every day doesn't mean you're actually gone from YouTube. Saying you're going to be gone from YouTube while you sit there eating your McDonald's on YouTube is uh, like no one cares. Again, no one cares, girl. Stop threatening us with a good time. Do you understand? Sherry King, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's awful. What strange timing, though, in a way. You know, it's like it's like the the universe, I don't want to say balances out, but a life lost, a life saved. You know what I mean? It's 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 almost poetic. Hmm. 
and her audience harassing me behind the scenes. Every little thing you do is helping her help me go against her. So thank you. No, no, I'm not responsible for anyone's behavior, what anyone does. Nobody incites anyone to do fuck all here. My, my main thing here is no one cares. It's not go after. What are you talking about? You're the one who tells your audience to dox people, mass flag people, go after people, go after people on other fucking platforms that you have no say in Twitter, you know? That's you, not us, okay? The harassment she incites from other people is helping my case. Thank you. What harassment? The fact that I've been pointing out your lies, manipulation, and deception for the better part of two years now? That's not my lies. That's just me unraveling yours. Bloop. Glitter and dinosaurs, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Thank you, Jessica. It won't be a month, no. I don't know how long it will be, Elizabeth, but probably till I get back in Kuwait and get settled in. Everything like that. Rhonda, that number is not, I don't use that number. And anyway, I'm not going to have a phone, a Canadian phone in five days. So who cares? <laughs> if you don't think I saw that my number was doxxed in my address, I don't give a shit. It's already doxxed. <laughs> yeah, that was the best thing and the smartest move she's made lately. Um, in the attempt to dox Amy, she actually doxed her own phone number. Bravo. Who cares? Because if you're a person who calls strangers for no reason, you're an idiot and you're creepy. So we're not having an open house. I'm not going to be live streaming in public. In Canada. Does anyone care? Here, here's what I can say about that. As a Canadian citizen myself, um, that makes me happy. You're a menace to society. You're already such a horrific and dangerous driver. The last thing you need to be is more distracted on the road. So it's kind of a better thing that you're not going to be um, live streaming while you're out and about. Get out in the boot. Sorry, let me say it in a, in a language you'll understand there, Chantal. Uh, the last fucking thing you need to be is watching your chat and looking for your babe while you hit curbs and shit, okay? She was kissed by fire. Thank you for the super chat. And hi, baby, you're awake. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were going to get up. Like, think think about it really logically. What, what do we ever do if we leave the villa? Is it that we're going to be missing out now on some great content when she takes us out? No. We might just miss a, a, a McDonald's meal or two. Who the fuck cares? We only leave the villa for trips to the outhouse or fast food or Starbucks. Who cares? <laughs> I had a nap. I had a headache. <laughs> so I don't care if my number, which is not going to be even relevant in a few days, is dogs. Because I have my phone on Do Not Disturb. So nobody, I don't, actually, I just screenshot the nasty messages for my case and that's it. Stay mad, babies. Exactly. <laughs> Robert D, thank you for the super chat. Stay mad, baby. She cannot read the room. Having a haul then on to BBJ. I'll I'll do the Amazon haul of uh, stuff that we'll purchase and have purchased for BBJ. How's that? Hmm? We don't need a, a couch cover and a fucking crazy ass a buy of this and that and all the junk you're now buying a waste on a trip to see a man who doesn't give a damn. You could have instead, see, this was her sliding doors moment, deciding to go for the fake husband or... Keeping the cats, deciding to maybe still even be Muslim, who cares, and deciding to be a better person. Oh, my God. Get the cats well treated. Do an Amazon haul for the cats. Show us the change in behavior. Show us a, a, a difference in your patterns. Holy crap. That would have been your fucking sliding doors moment, Chantal. As a human being, I don't even just mean a YouTuber, right? You fucked up, girl. <laughs> I just need patience. This is teaching me patience. <laughs> Trash hater super chats, of course. Jin Huya, thank you for the super chat. You're right. What do you think is going to happen? She's pushed to a limit that is like 
going to be trouble for her. So, hey, Modus, what can very important music ready to be? Is animal abuse? Animal abuse? Do it. Phil, you moron. They came to check it out. They came to check it out twice. Animal control. So that's on my side. Nah, I'm winning this one. Stay winning. It's over. <laughs> like I don't want to turn it into a you won, uh, someone lost thing. The cats won. It is what it is. You lost. The cats won. It ends. You are going to be the one. You can't let it go. You can't accept the loss, right? You can't. You don't like the fact that now your cats are both being very well taken care of. Stay mad, baby. I don't know what to tell you. Seattle Sapphire's low carb world. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Stay mad, bitches. Stay mad. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> yeah, I still get the money. Katie, thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, so Monday, I have to talk to this lawyer, see if they can help me. I um found a service that matches you with what you need. So it's like mostly civil litigation. I want to like sue this bitch. So <sighs> I want to sue this bitch. Lawsuit, lawsuit. We're Canadian. It's not that easy. You make it sound like it's like, listen, I, I've said this before, but just I, um, in the States, I know it's like kind of like lawsuits. It's like a thing. There's always lawsuits. It's, it's a thing. Okay. And everyone threatens each other with lawsuits and they happen. And we don't live in lawsuit country. When you leave the state, it's just not like that in Canada and a lot of other places. It's extremely difficult to actually sue somebody in a civil case, things like that, prove things like defamation, loss of uh, revenue, loss of revenue where? When she talks about, oh, she took my viewers, implies she ever had these kind of like views. You know, she just hasn't. Her shit's been tanking forever. You can't be mad that somebody's doing better than you. Uh, it is what it is. It doesn't more, what, lawsuit, lawsuit, your butt hurt and you don't like me and I don't like you. It's, it is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. You, you sound fucking stupid, Chantal. FFG has created a hate Chantal mob mentality. It's gone too far and someone could get hurt. And that someone can go to jail. How about that? Go for it. Like, what do you think? <laughs> you can't do fuck all. You can't do Go to jail for what? Because I took your cat to the vet and had her feet taken care of? And the fact that her nails were going through her feet outraged a lot of people? I'm going to jail for that? Okay. <laughs> if you think so. Rachel, thank you for the super chat. Shit to me. What are you going to do? I'm gonna, not even going to be in this country. And remotely, I will sue you and every penny, like I said, that you made off of me being an asshole and a liar and causing all this shit in my life. You will pay for it. Where's the lies, though? We've been saying that since the beginning. I would love to see you in court try and dance around that. Accuse me of that. Okay, where's the lie? And she still has nothing to say. Ma'am, don't be mad. I'm always, I don't always, right? That sounds like a dick thing to say. But when it comes to Koki, this guy, the cat thing, it is what it is. I don't know what to tell you, ma'am. There's no lies about it. I'm just right. And I can read you like a fucking book. It's just, it's not that deep. <laughs> Phoenix flying. Thank you for the super chat. I understand it would be maybe frustrating, but it's not criminal. You know what I mean? I would hate me too. If I was her shit and I had this little like fucking gnat up my ass, constantly write about things. Every time I tried to like get away with something and lie about something, I have this fucking gnat like telling everyone I'm lying. That would piss me off. <laughs> too bad. You will pay being super smug. Actually, the smug is so thick today. I hope it makes you extra mad. Mm, mm, mm. And you all did something horrible for BBJ. If you think she's better off with that insane stalker who chain smokes, every picture sent to me from BBJ about BBJ has been miserable. 
every picture set. What was it? Like the three pictures from the first night <laughs> where she's already looking happier, more relaxed, brushed, calm, chill, <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. She looks miserable. You guys, Lisa, thank you for the super chat. So anyway, that's all I wanted to Swear to God, we'll post up a picture. Wait till the summer. Wait until the summer and she's chilling in her catio. I'm going to find cat size appropriate sunglasses. You know that iconic picture of Ollie that I love so much. You wait. I'm going to recreate it. I got to find her size of sunglasses. She will be chilling in her catio. We will post up a picture of it and she'll be like, look at the cat. The cat's never been more miserable. To say about drama? Yeah, with the um, Gucci collar on. <laughs> Important beezers. Make sure we have a private way to send money for this. <laughs> I don't know what money I'm going to need. A lot of lawyers actually only take money if they win. But some people have offered to help. So I might, I don't know, if I really need some kind of help money wise because it can be expensive and you guys want to help, I'll figure it out, Rhonda. It's um, pretty rare to find a lawyer who will do any of this stuff like what is the word pro bono or whatever they call it uh and this kind of a thing what she's talking about attempting to do nobody's doing that without being paid up front mm, some kind of a retainer at least and i mean a sizable one and then i saw somebody on twitter today was it twitter Shit, i never know if it's twitter or kiwi farms forgive me i'm not sure okay um talking about how if she would let's say give a large retainer to a lawyer she would of course have to let her bankruptcy trustee know all about that. And then should she actually even, for example, win something in her crazy ass lawsuit, she would of course have to declare that also to the bankruptcy trustee. So there's that. <laughs> Thank you, Marella. That's so nice. Leanda, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Mimi. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They lied about who they were. They wouldn't have given BBJ to the. They didn't. Okay. They they didn't really say. Like I didn't ask. Are you related to FFG? Because I had no thought in my mind that she would be psychotic enough. When I say no, you can't have her. It should end there. But this. Well, your first mistake is underestimating crazy. <laughs> no. You can't say anyone lied about who they were and lied about anything. Literally, it was a, a piece, one piece of information left out. Everything was exactly who the people are who got your freaking cat. The only little nugget that was left out of the story was that they're related to me. Beyond that, nothing, nothing else is different. Okay. There's not some magic, uh, like conspiracy, big lie. It's just that one little nugget of information. Just, imagine how crazy she would have sounded. It's just some rando who has nothing to do with girl world shows up for the cat. And she's like, do you know FFG? <laughs> she's like losing her mind. Like everyone, do you know FFG? Ooh, cuckoo. Uh, very good. Thank you for the super chat. I, yeah, I was seeing that around yesterday too. I speak for everyone. Can we rename her FFJ? That's cute. Stupid bitch went around and actually did this the roundabout way, deceitful way. Yeah, she's not, she's gonna pay, don't worry. She can, <laughs> the saying is so true. She who laugh, laughs last, laughs best and hardest. Watch. Watch. I, I mean, I've been laughing pretty, pretty good since my drive back to Montreal the other day. I'm just saying. You can do whatever the hell you want to me. I'm not gonna change. Yeah. No. Oh my God. Pomeran, merci. Uh, thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry. Your name looks French to me, so I went into French mode. Sorry. Gee. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know the deal with what's going on with Missy Mo. I never, I haven't heard anything. Oh, that reminds me. Let's take a little pissy poo sidebar here for a second. So, the saga of Missy Moo. The other night, the night, the night of the BBJ stream. Missy Moo came into our chat and, and super chatted. 
and now is claiming to Chantal, made some stupid video, I saw it on Twitter, like, like a fool, and claimed and lied to Chantal that no, she did not come in here and do a super chat like it was someone else. You fool. <laughs> you actual fool. When the video, when the live stream uploads on the channel as a video, you can click and see like while we're live let's say i can click and see and i believe the mods also can click and be taken right over to that person's channel but when the live stream uploads as a video on the channel you just go over and you click and it takes you to the person's channel it 100 percent is actually pissy poo who came in here and super chatted and was all like oh how could she treat little bbj like that like if you need anything for the cat i'll split the this and that listen number one pissy poo no one bought your shit okay and you came in here with your fucking super chat no one cares and no one here likes you i've said it forever beezers welcome you want to jump ship you want to you know play both sides uh troll on both sides who the fuck cares i enjoy a troll okay all are welcome except for a select few. Pissy poo, bitch, you are number one on that list, and I really mean it, okay? You're never going to be welcome here. Uh, not that you attempted to anyway. That was some kind of, I don't know, attempt. <laughs> let, let me do this for Chantal. Go fuck yourself. Both of you, stay the fuck away from here, girl, okay? Basically, anyone who is dramatic or brings drama in my life in the chat the video of you walking is proof that people are literally stalking. Exactly. Literal stalkers. Okay, but what, what did the super chat say? Ten twenty seven Anno, thank you for the super sticker. I don't know. People are like, she super chatted FF Chiba one day. Trixie, yeah. I don't trust anyone except my husband in this whole, like, at all, period. I don't. Isn't it ironic? The one person you trust is the one hustling you presently. Hmm? And before that, who was the one person you trusted? The crackhead who didn't want you who also was hustling you. You are such a good judge of character. Wow, I've always said that about you and it's, your streak just continues on, huh? <clears throat> I don't know, babe. If it's true, I guess we'll see. Oh, that's fancy. Holy crap, wait a minute, that's, that's classy. Then I think she's gonna need a crystal dish. Because how do you wear like pearls and not a crystal? Day? Oh, we're opening a can of worms here. <laughs> winged um, winged Skywolf, thank you for the super chat. And the suggestion, that's adorable. Well, all of this, these things she does are going to go against her. I hope she knows that. She thinks it's funny for a laugh. All of it, she's going to be paying for. <sighs> Uh, Esmir, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. <laughs> so, how can I do what to Tiny BBJ? I did nothing to her. Her nails grew too long. She cries if you, that's why I don't cut her nails myself. No matter what, she screams whenever I try to cut them. I've said this many times. Okay, that is either a lie, what she's saying right now, or BBJ was, that, that means that when she went to cut her nails, the nails had already grown into the pads because I was in the room with them while they cut her nails. The nails that were not grown into the pads, they had abs, they started with those ones, right? To like get them done with. So they wouldn't have to keep bothering her when they got into the painful ones. She she didn't even, not, not a squeak out of her, nothing, not a word. I was going to say a word, but it's not a word, but cat word, okay. She didn't make a sound at all. The only time the cat started, and I, then they had to put the cone and two of them told her she was like fighting for her life. It was when they started trying to pull out the embedded nails, Chantal. Um, Ninja Cat, thank you for the super chat. They are just doing this. And I offered, I said I was taking her to the vet to get it taken care of. You should have taken her to the vet before Kuwait. 
her nails were fine. She was fine. Again, more false outrage. That's again, just flat out a lie. If you think her nails were fine, it's that you weren't looking at her nails because according to the vet, those nails had been embedded quite uh, a bit longer than three months. Okay. You're not going to tell me what to do with my pets. She was fine. I took her like six months before that. Give me a break. And before that, I never took my pets to the vet barely unless they were sick. Why do you keep talking? Do you understand that everything you say is something against you? Girl, that's not what owning pets is supposed to be. I only took the cats to the vet if they were sick. I flexed that I made $26,000 in a month, but I only took a, what, 17, 18-year-old cat to the vet when they were sick. What's the matter with you? Angel Horns, thank you so much for the super chat. Ever. Never got shit for it. The whole five years I was on on uh, YouTube. And that was a problem. I don't care. Keep your all outrage and shove it up your ass. I really don't care. Hate me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> and Missy, if you did do that, I don't give a shit what you think either. You can eat shit. Because you're fake. You don't... Like, seriously? I can't believe people. Mm -mm. Can you... This bitch, bad. If you have a problem with the way that BJ was being treated, you're fake. You could have... Oh, sh she's a fair weather friend. Wow. Another one, huh? Oh, my God. This community is fucked. Me you damn right it is, but it's because of you. You are the fucked up part of this community. Look at the past week in this community. The rest of us, it's, it's, it's a pretty... Uh, wholesome, maybe bored with you at this point. There's a lot of stuff going on, but you are the toxic. You are the negative. You are everything that's wrong in this community, Chantal. It is what it is. You need to maybe acknowledge that a little bit. Notice that you and your VIB idiots is the toxic in here. James, thank you so much for the super chat. Messed up. <clears throat> and you cannot give me crap for potentially bringing BBJ to the vet. You filled in the blanks with hatred and outrage. She's going to euthanize BBJ. Meanwhile, you're stupid. Oh, we filled that in? You filled that in for us. Again, no one invented what was going to happen with BBJ. We didn't just didn't all decide like, oh, we're going to say this. It was you on live stream on your channel for all of us to see. You told us your plans for BBJ and putting her down. And then we found out she had been being starved, uh, starved while you were in Cornwall at your mother's house. Hmm? What, making making your argument better for the appointment where you were going to say, she's not even eating. She's not doing well. She's doing great. Great. Thanks for telling us your plan. No one created it except for you. Okay. Diana Lynn, thank you for the super chat. Stupid toothless mouth did the same thing to your dogs. So get a life, you hypocrite. And I hope, I hope, I hope I sue the crap out of you. I hope you saved some of that money. Girl, everybody knows how cheap I am. <laughs> I got lawyer mon money to smoke your lawyer money. And plus, like I've said many times, my last name is Feldman. Do you really think I'd even be paying for the lawyer? Use your brain for once in your fucking life. I've seen cats scream at the vet just by vet tech touching them. Exactly. Exactly. Immediately. Animal abuser. What kind of stable person? No, unstable person messages people to accuse them of being an animal abuser. Like, get a life. There's actually animals being abused and hit and everything else. The chain smoking is abuse to your dog. Shoving pills down their throat is abuse to your dogs. You abuse your dogs. You are projecting. You're a loser. I will not be baited on this Saturday. You wore out the button and it doesn't hit that same way. You fucking idiot. Girl. Girl. <laughs> giving the dogs pills. Giving Ollie pills was horrific. I hated it. I bitched about it. I cried about it. Girl. Girl. But unlike you. I always took the dogs to the vet. I was back and forth to the vet with the dogs so much at the end there, girl. I know you can't relate, but some of us 
listen to what the vet tells us to do. We don't try and tell the vet what to do. Do you understand? No, I know you can't. Jen Epalooza, thank you for the super chat. Baby mama, I have to go to the police station after. Woo, woo. That's the sound of the police. Meow, meow. That's the sound of a thriving BBJ no longer in pain and enjoying her best life. <laughs> Hmm. I wouldn't let it just go this time. It will only get worse. Let's remember Christina Grimmie, who was killed by a stalker fan. I'm not giving up. But I'm also not going to let it interfere with my life and happiness. So <clears throat> it's one more thing I have to deal with. Yes. Patrick Duffy boy. Thank you for the super chat. Anyone have that picture of her in the disguise? If they could email it to me, that would be so appreciated. Oh, yes, the picture of me in the disguise. She's acting like, I don't know, it's a real disguise. That's part of the joke. I'm outdoors in Canadian winter, dressed appropriately. Again, Chantal, I know you can't relate because you go out in like thin little like uh, polyester cardigans at like minus 17 degrees. But but my disguise was just a well-equipped, well-dressed Canadian who does not enjoy the cold. Hey, ah. Everything is, she's digging herself. She's too, her and her audience are brainless. They're morons. Uh, loving and caring. Thank you so much for the super chat. They don't get it. No, I don't watch that, that chubby leprechaun, Phil. I don't care what he has to say. I don't care what he has to say because he talks like this and he gets on my nerves, quite frankly. I just think if they pulled up five nails and have texted it with no sedation, it wasn't that bad. They don't do it with, yeah, exactly. No, they were deciding. They had said that that's, you know, why they called in the other vet. So they, they were figuring out whether or not to sedate her. They didn't want to if they didn't have to. So they did the first one. Yeah, okay, she was screaming, but she was still tolerating it quite well. So they kept going without because it was like the the better way in their minds to do it. Julie, thank you for the super chat, girl. And if it wasn't just for drama and views, you piece of crap, then why, whenever I asked you, do you see in the receipts, I say. And then she's like, no, don't worry about it. My sister will take her to the vet. Yeah, FFG gladly will. Even though I said I would before the cat was picked up, just for drama and views. It's really pathetic. Anyways, I'm glad you made a lot of money. If I was really just taking the cat, taking the cat to the vet for drama and views, wouldn't I have filmed the vet? Can you imagine <laughs> you talking about people exploiting your cat for views? That would have been exploiting the cat for views coming on here with a video and playing it for everyone. And you hear the cat fucking screaming, being pegged down to the table at the vet's office. That would have been exploiting your cat for views or using it for views. But if you think I don't appreciate and let's like, let's say it wasn't me. Let's say I'm watching. Okay. Like another chat. This is going on. Like on another channel, I, I would like BBJ updates. For a while anyway, until we find out BBJ is okay. You know what I mean? We are more attached to these cats than you are. And that's always been a problem, Chantal. But it's the truth. Peapot Fairy, thank you for the super chat. Running off of this situation, exploding my cat, because you're going to be giving it back. <clears throat> Did Garlic Bread went to Victoria's Secret yet? <laughs> yeah, apparently he takes his mom shopping at lingerie places. Loser. And just breezing, you beat your grandparents. So shut up about me, okay? You beat your grandparents. You shoved your elderly grandparents, your piece of crap. And you have the nerve to come after me with your self-righteous crap. All of you need to take a look in the mirror and get a life. You can't expect someone with mental health issues to care for their pets needs 100% of the time, which includes pissy and FFG's euthanized dogs. I'm uh I'm I'm just sitting here. I'm not saying anything to that because I was just like, bitch, what? <laughs> I have been somewhat out of the community for quite a few days now. Uh I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Hailed chain smoke all their lives. Exactly. BBJ's nails overgrowing because I was away and because she's elderly and they grow longer is not animal. 
Yeah, it is, because their nails have been growing into the pads long before you went to Kuwait, and it's the second time in two years that we know that it happened, because it was on live stream. Uh, and about the chain smoking and the smoking and how damaging it can be, um, there's a picture of you on Twitter. I'm sorry I don't have it. I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm really out of it, guys. Forgive me. I'll have it for the next stream, okay? She's literally got a joint sticking out of her mouth, lit, and she's smushed her head into, I believe it's BBJ's little head. The joint lit part is literally touching BBJ's head. It's like in her fur, okay? Mashed against the cat's head. What do you have to say about smoking around your animals, Shondo? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> we'll look at that picture together on the next stream. Animal abuse. Get a life. <laughs> Actually, grow up. <laughs> circuit what circus baby <laughs> what ready set bees welcome she legit has an oh and you don't get a whole charge just from shoving somebody you had a whole charge elderly abuse and you have the nerve to talk about Kara. thank you for the super chat girl really mm -hmm. so just breezing has the nerve to talk about my cat care grow overgrown nails Versus beating an elderly person and giving your child away because you're a drunk. Apples and oranges. What does anything have to do with anything? Whatever the hell she's talking about. What does that have to do with the way you treated your cat? Hmm? What does that have to do? Literally nothing. This is a deflection. This is crazy deflection. We can't call it cat deflection, though. She doesn't have any cats anymore, can we? Oops. 1027 Anno, thank you for the super chat. Okay. Rosie. <laughs> Actually, McDonald's is halal. Lies! We saw the page together. McDonald's Canada, absolutely not fucking halal. They actually go out of their way to say like, no, we cannot call our food halal. So you're going out of your way to pretend like you don't know that lies. Loving and caring. Thank you so, so much for the super chat. That's really nice of you. No, Kuwait is not postponed. <laughs> It's a situation being handled behind the scenes. Don't show the cards. That gives them a heads up. Some of these reactors, Breeze and FFG, are scary, violent, abusive, and Chantal is the one in the wrong. Yep. Oh, only by people who don't matter, so who cares? So, I think I have a case, don't you guys? No. <laughs> I'm modest. Shall we put up a poll? She asked a direct question. I like that poll. I'm making a poll. <laughs> I'm being petty today. Let me have it. For stupid audience, emphasis on the word stupid. I think that FFG really saved the cat. They don't know at all what she care is. The yeah, it's just for content money. Soon she will kill the cat, just like how she killed her dogs. Two in a year. <laughs> it's true. I need to save her from euthanizing BBJ. <laughs> Meanwhile, you euthanized your dogs. I, I can't get over how people don't see that hypocrisy. It's ridiculous, but who cares? The only people that need to see it is a judge. Everyone else can kiss my fat hand. All right, let's try this new lip gloss. No, 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 no. Oh my God, Gerald from YouTube. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> Does not appear you are giving hate. Carry on. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Gerald from YouTube. It smells like crap. What a waste of money. Oh, it's a collagen lip gloss. Ow! <laughs> I can feel it burning. Ow, ow. Oh, so much, sorry, I just let fly by in the chat. I'm so behind, guys. Forgive me. Someone in the chat just said something like, um, didn't Pete euthanize his cat? We've now heard that Pete's is like Timbit's end story two ways also, because stories always change with Chantal, right? The first time we hold this, uh, we were told the story, Timbit apparently just keeled over one day. She was eating and she just keeled over and that was it in the room. The next time we heard the story, she was taken to the vet and euthanized. So I don't know which one is the truth. These are the two stories we have heard from Chantal. I, I, don't, I don't know. 
I don't know what to say. That cat was so sick and also not being taken to the vet regularly. They knew that cat was sick. Is is the fact that you let the cat get so sick that it literally keels over and just dies like that a positive in her mind rather than having taken the cat, not let it suffer that long and make the hard decision to put it down. She acts like the other option is somehow the more humane thing to do. I hard disagree with that. Oh. Soft boo-boo lip oil. What the heck? I don't know. Do you guys like it? Uh, I think later we're going to make some... I have some dates. I have some... Where is it? Babe, some of my order came in. <laughs> my prayer dress. And Howie's playpen for Howie! Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the check, girl. Okay. And we're going to make energy bites. So this is shredded coconut, unsweetened. Yeah. We have some almond butter and dates. Oh, I forgot the oats. Do I have rolled oats? Maybe unpopular opinion. I don't order food from Amazon. It's always stale. What the hell? She orders everything. She's, she never wants to go into a store. I get it, whatever. But like, ugh, Amazon. Slow down the chat. Okay, I will. Here. No. Darn it. Can I make them without oats? No, I need oat flour. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Okay, I'll be sure to get some oat flour. Howie! He doesn't have a ball. I'm still mad that people don't look past their dislike of you and are acting as if FFG and her pig sister-in-law have done something good. They're spiteful. Oh, I love that. QSM, thank you for the super chat and thank you for that information. I'm going to take the little note. I'm, I'm getting this, um, what do you call it? Post it right now. Thank you. Jack, you make so much sense. Honestly, you and Bloxillion. Everyone else is just, no, you guys all, all here too. I'm just saying, you know, it's really, 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 I know, but I need to, I don't have oats. Oh, I do have oats. I have a huge bag of Quaker oats. Okay, good. We can make energy bites. Exactly. <laughs> this is what happens when you have a dingleberry like ffg hanging on every little thing that you do causing false outrage and everything gets hyped up and then these people brain dead people come after you anyway yeah again may maybe it's my bias or something but i definitely don't think i hyped it up i think i did the opposite i think i very purposely kept it calm and not hyped up. Again, I could have filmed the time at the vet. I could have exaggerated the shit out of what happened even at the vet. I could have said, oh, the vet said your cat looked horrible for her age. You know what? I didn't. I literally, literally, very purposely tried to stay calm about the whole damn thing and balanced as much as I could be. But girl, if you think I wasn't going to mention the fucking uh, nails growing into your feet, the feet, that, that's super fucked up. Sorry. Uh, a lotus in the mud. Thank you for the super chat. FFG posted a pic of her disguise because she was really only doing it for views and her obsession. <clears throat> She's admitting to the stock. No, I posted that picture because it's fucking hilarious. And I'm here for the shits and gigs. Always have been. It is what it is. Talking and harassment then, which is she's going to be. Don't worry. She's being sued. Don't worry. <laughs> <clears throat> what karma <laughs> you think that she's not going to get karma what karma am i getting no i'm still happy i'm still getting everything i want in life nothing has changed in my life nothing nothing and that well said is your karma and nothing ever will change you're not getting what you want in your life as usual you're getting played well done brainiac except that i'm hiring a lawyer and suing her so what, what's changing that I'm getting my karma? I know you're all waiting for me to get my downfall, like some weird, weird idiot losers, but it's not. Caroline, thank you for the super chat. Need for you to read everything. What do you mean, Tanya? Ah, uh, yes, the lawyer, Tanya, the lawyer who comes into the chat. 
like a, a, a knight on a horse to save the day and be like Chantal's like legal guidance. Oh, is Tanya in Canada? Can, can Tanya help Chantal? No. Oh, she's in South Africa, I believe. I mean, okay. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Goodbye, little scrappy. You can help me, Tanya. You're a lawyer, really? Oh boy. I actually have a lawyer, but um bye. I am a smug bitch. Stay mad. I love it. Jesus. Okay, yeah, we're staying mad. Thank you for reminding me about the poll. I totally forgot about the poll, as I always do. Uh Angela, thank you so much for the super chat. All right, everyone, hold on. Let me end the poll because I did forget about it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Poll results. Does she have a case? <laughs> no, 62%. Just flat out no, it's not even funny. 34% and yes, 2%. Pissy poo, we see you. <laughs> she can't be a YouTuber. She can only be a hater forever. Um, Tanya is a lawyer. Speak with Tanya. Tanya, speak. <laughs> Tanya, okay, what is your advice? Give us your legal advice here. I have a lawyer already looking into it. Like, they're going to take the weekend to review all of this case. They're like, oh my gosh, there's so much to unpack. He's like, it's been going on for this long. It's like, wow. It's like, so she just basically just uses your content and then craps on you for this whole time? Yeah, basically. <clears throat> oh, the lawyer who's done this for free on a weekend, <laughs> like a Friday <laughs> evening, has taken your call, has looked into the channel, just like Gerald has also. Everyone's looking into the channel. Wow. Um, and for absolutely zero dollars is already giving you all of this. Girl, stop. You're embarrassing yourself. Do you think that there's anyone, even one VI idiot who's buying this shit? Yeah, I think even Pissy Poo is rolling her eyes at this bullshit, honestly. Vicky, thank you for the super chat. I love that she's done this to herself. I love that for you. She doesn't even realize it yet. Um, no, I didn't say I was going to sue Nadusi. I was going to charge him, but then I dropped the charges. You guys know why already. I don't want to go over that. The past. I know you guys love living. Ah, uh, yes. The false charges. So you also have a history of making things up about people. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> oh, hi, Sugar Plum. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, Okay, so with FFG, I went and saw a couple of things. One, you can sue for defamation. And two, the most important one is that you can stop FFG from talking about you completely as by sending her an NDA. <clears throat> oh, really, Tanya? Thank you, Pinkfish. Wait a minute. <laughs> Tanya, the lawyer, just said that she can get her, she can get me to stop talking about her by sending me an NDA. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Tanya, why do I know more about law than you do? Tanya, there's something wrong here, ma'am. <laughs> she can send me an NDA and I can shit on it, literally. Like, I, if I don't sign the NDA, I don't shut my face. Do you understand, Tanya? Take notes. You'll need this for your fake law school, okay? What the shit is going on? Then don't call out people you don't know if you don't want problems. Get it? <clears throat> Stalking is not taken. I'm not going to give up. Like, I definitely have a case. If you look at all of her, what she's done versus what I've, I've done, nothing to her, actually. Nothing. Not a single thing. You dox my number? That's illegal, ma'am. Hmm? Hmm? There's other things. Anyway, you, you know I got plenty now of cards in my pocket, but that's the original one. The original crime in our country. Hmm? Tessa, thank you for the super chat. So all of this is going to come right back and smack her with her own fupa right in the face. You have never stalked FFG, showed up at her house, showed up at anything. She has crossed a line so many I didn't show up at your house. I was nowhere near your house. What the shit are you lunatics now lying about? I was not at all you you know beats was literally at the door in the video are you insane stop lying if you have a case if you really thought you had something you wouldn't already be lying in the details hmm? elizabeth thank you for the super chat many times reviewers are so weak 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 
the in-laws baby mama they'll be dealt with it's really nice that you're involving your whole family because they're going to be in shit too i love it you come for my family i'm coming for yours don't worry legally of course unlike you you're a scrimy little friggin toad i love living in my past i hate it and i can't wait to leave here once i'm out of here goodbye who is larping as a bedbound woman what <clears throat> oh yeah her sister-in-law like just completely like it's pathological to play act like that and then be like in the meantime have a whole other agenda behind the scenes you think that it's funny it, it's like funny haha <laughs> we got a kicks we got drama yay like grow up seriously you should all be ashamed and the only one paying for all of this is going to be uffg don't worry i don't understand how youtube allows all these reaction I, I'm, I'm just not worried at all was anyone worried swear to god not at all noodle thank you for the super chat Channels who bully other content creators and take it too far. There's a thin line between criticism and harassment and bullying. They literally don't care. They don't care. <clears throat> exactly. You can't press charges without there being evidence of him doing something. So I believe you did get abused. Actually, it's not that it's not that. It's that like I even showed the email correspondence with the detective. Um, I was like, I want to drop the charges because like I was still had feelings for him and I felt bad. And he, you know, would lay on the guilt pretty thick. That's a stupid thing to say, V.I. Bidian. Oh, no, we believe what you wrote in that thing about Koki because you can't even make, uh, you can't press charges unless there's some kind of, like, proof. Or something. No, she drove her ass to the police station because people told her on live stream that Koki was going to the police station to file something against her. So she was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to beat him to it because I have the car and they have to Uber. So she drove to the police station just to file false charges before he would, out of spite. Because he was jealous that uh, she was jealous that he wouldn't leave Didi. We watched that entire thing play out on live stream. And then we also saw on live stream when she confessed to us that she had fabricated some of the charges on that report that she made that day. And the motive there was jealousy over Didi. She literally told us this on her live stream. Uh, Diana Lynn, thank you again for the super chat. That time period is a huge holiday in Greece. FF Grifter, instead of celebrating and partying, she's creeping on Chantal, pathetic. Just like on Valentine's Day, instead of spending time with your man, <laughs> who's your man, your brother? Like your brother's your man or what? Like, excuse me, Funko baby? <laughs> is that a normal thing in Cornwall? Or just maybe in the Soros? I don't know, I don't know. The way that just came out of you so normally, Funko baby, we're not all Funko babies. You understand? You fucking weirdo. <laughs> I, I would believe it. The haters are so overconfident. Yeah, but lost her case, and their sheep followers were so sure she'd win. It'd be the same with FFG. Exactly, Jack. Exactly. Exactly. Um, when it comes down to everything, it comes down to the law, and the evidence is there. She's like literally digging her. She's dug herself into this. She has no one to blame but herself. I did nothing to anybody. You don't like that I'm smug? Why? For being myself? I have a right to not. What am I going to do? Oh, please. Yes, I'm going to bow down to your bullying. No, I'm not. I'm not. And there's nothing you can do about it. And NDA is not hard and I can help you. FFG won't be allowed to talk about you ever again. Hmm. Oh, Tanya coming through with more help. And NDA is not that hard. She'll never be able to talk about you again. Tanya, make her that NDA. <laughs> Can't wait to see the NDA. Weird Mike. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, message me, Tanya, if you want. <laughs> Literally, all Chantal has done is live her life and post it online. Right, Pinkfish? What have I done? What have I done? Exactly. They keep, this is the thing. This is why they look for things. This is what it all comes down to, Pinkfish. They look for things as deflection. Like, to deflect, they need something to support their hate. Um, what the fuck? The gaslighting has begun because I'm like scratching my head. Like, what is she talking about? We don't deflect. That's always been your thing. Cat deflection. We don't deflect. We point out the deflection. We stay right on point. Straight line talking here. No circles. No gaslighting. That's you. What deflection? This whole cat thing was done as a deflection from what? Like, uh, you're nuts, man. Miss Zippy, thank you for the super chat. They need a reason for it. So this time, this time it's BBJ's neglect, BBJ's abuse, BBJ's nails, all the outrage over BBJ. 
gives her an excuse to keep her hate shit going. Don't you, and, and this is the thing. People are so easily manipulated. They don't see it. They don't see it. They're all mouth breathers, like dumb, dumb people. Oh my God. Tell me you watch even my shorts without telling me that you watch my shorts. I've recently put out a short that said, please uh, breathe through your nose mouth breather or something like that. And it was a clip of Chantal literally like, hey, hey, breathing out of her mouth. <laughs> Girl, I'm glad you're such a fan. Do you have the little bell on? I bet you have the bell on. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're a lawyer. Just like Yaba's lawyer. What a joke. <laughs> Oh. Under rain. Thank you for the super chat. Goodbye. <clears throat> no offense, but any lawyer you find do a background check. Of course. Yeah, Rhonda. I'm not just going to pick somebody off the internet. Like, I'm never trusting people online ever again. I was going to say, can you imagine? Okay, wait. Picture it. Ottawa, 2023. This bitch goes into a lawyer's office. She's like, hi, I'm here for my consultation. The lawyer spins around like Dr. Evil, and it's one of my family members. Like, hello there, foodie beauty. And she's like, no. <laughs> Girl, don't underestimate me. I'm fucking everywhere. <laughs> Again, this is my bad. Is trusting this Lisa loser. My bad. <clears throat> so if you're waiting for my karma, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen because I don't do anything to anybody. I don't do anything to any of you. I literally come on here and bees and eat my double fillet fillet of fish. You know, yeah, I'm a fat ass, but who cares? Like that doesn't give you the right to harass me. All these channels are breaking pretty much terms of service in a way or their other, but YouTube don't care. Actually, anytime I've complained to YouTube, it was through chat. I'm going to prepare a huge email with all of the evidence and that's all I can do. I mean, damn it. You're right. No, if the chair spins around and it was me in the chair, I should have started a long troll. Damn it. This is like George Costanza and the shrimp store thing. Two years too late. If two years ago I had thought of the troll of like pretending that I'm an actual lawyer that nah, my mouth, no one would have believed it, but that could have been so funny right now. <laughs> I will represent myself. Hmm. Lars of L Lars, what? Laws of karma. Thank you for the super chat, girl. I mean, you know, people accuse me of not doing anything. No, I try to keep it quiet though because I don't want exactly. I don't want to reveal my cards or anything. I'm I'm not just sitting here passively like a lot of people are thinking, and not just that, but I don't feel like dealing with this crap. Like I don't. Like I said, I didn't ask to be involved in this. Um, I don't insert myself in things like these people, these weird people, you know. Even if Chantal and Kuwait, the lawyer will keep following the case against their criminal FFG. <laughs> French fried cigarettes. If you have a Mr. FFG, why is your brother the one who kidnapped BBJ? Exactly. Where's your man? Why weren't you writing with your man? Like, it's. It was 1.30 p.m. on a weekday. How many times are we going to go over this, ma'am? Some people can fuck around with time during the day. The lucky ones. Other people are not. You live that fucking punch in, punch out life. You are like trapped in there till you punch out again i know you can't relate ma'am 1 30 p.m on a weekday jesus so there's no evidence of a man at all it's so sad and pathetic and yeah i'm only using that as a one-up because she talks a lot of shit about my um relationship and it's a lie it's a blatant lie and her audience doesn't like me because i'm a liar so again how do you support ffg but like it doesn't make any sense it's, it has nothing to do with her has nothing to do with the cats has nothing to do with anything except for your hate hard on for me and there's no it's not founded there's no reason for you to hate me i did nothing to anybody wow she's always been the victim in her mind and never does anything wrong and like we've watched this for years but like ugh, still she takes no responsibility for bbj's poor little feet at all at all that's not her bad she was in Kuwait. But while she was in Kuwait, do you remember that offers were made right here on this channel to send a mobile vet paid for by us, by me, over to the villa and Pete's would just bring the cats downstairs. And that was shit on, completely shit on. But yeah. And she was saying that BBJ was fine. Just fine. Okay. You also said that you were going to take BBJ to the vet as soon as you got back. And you had been back almost a month and you hadn't. And anyway... Then we found out that BBJ is not fine. It's on you. No BS. Thank you for the super chat. Did you see FFG was in disguise hiding down the street? 
no jackalope i need people to send me this stuff so if you have anything on ffg that could help my case if you have any pictures of her in disguise i want them in my inbox please no problem girl it's up on my community tab Ooh, me in my disguise ah canadian winter you fool megan thank you for the super chat <clears throat> you just live your life being you these reactors try to tear you down or bully you into reacting and then go how vile of her how she reacted it's so transparent. Exactly, Jack. Exactly. Thank you for having a brain. Like, honestly, that's what they do. James, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, they do it. They, they try to provoke you into reacting somehow, and then they use that against you. You're so right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we're the ones that made you neglect BBJ so that all of this could happen all those months down the road. We made you do it. It wasn't you. Everybody else, they provoked you to do this. Okay. Christina, thank you for the super chat. She's so crazy. Yeah, it's not about you. It'll always, in her mind, be about her. And no matter what, she's not the bad guy. She'll never be the villain. She's done nothing wrong. <laughs> BBJ proof of life. Yeah, all she sends me is these weird pictures. Like, the pictures are formatted weird. I don't know. And BBJ is just curled up looking all weird, like all not happy. Oh, all not happy. She's literally curled up looking so relaxed, so chill, uh, like, you know, out in the open, laying over on her side, which I've been told is a sign that like a cat is very comfortable where they are purring away all day. Oh God, no, she looks miserable. Kim, thank you for the super chat. So you guys care about BBJ. No, you care about the drama. You don't give a shit about that cat. Good on you. <clears throat> <laughs> modest my uncle is a lawyer pretty much this could keep her from having a youtube channel talking about you she could still do youtube but not talk about you and that is her money maker get an nda i'm gonna talk to the lawyer oh a second person now now there's two she's had a second opinion everybody and the second opinion who's something is also a lawyer uh concurs with tanya that yes an nda is the thing to be done wow well since they both agree that an nda is it <laughs> Oh my God, what is this? It's like I'm on Mars today. I swear to God. Crazy. BBJ is now FFJ. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, girl. And Tanya, thank you for the super chat. Monday about it. My membership is about to run out. And while I'm disappointed, I want to wish you and Sella all the best. Thank you. A bit disappointed. What, Maggie? FFG is using you for the money. She does not care about your cats. This is how she pays her bills. Don't let it emotionally affect you. Oh, no, it won't. Well, um... I mean, I am human, so yeah, I wish I wasn't dealing with these things, but FFG's kill count is high. We need proof of life. I asked for photos, Jackalope. No, I blocked the woman, but I asked her for photos. And even whenever I was suspicious, she was lying to me about it. Like, she's she's a horrible human, a liar, piece of crap, de de just deception. What were you suspicious about? You put up two pictures, two out of three on your community tab. Hmm? The first one. It was like, oh, sweet baby Jay, all adjusted and looking cozy in her home, right? On the same spot as the second picture, which by, by the second one, the tone had changed, of course. And it was like, oh my God, poor baby Jay looks miserable on a tattered blanket. What the fuck? You know, <laughs> such a fool, such a fool. Both those pictures on your community tab. My God. Tasha, thank you for the super chat. Jeanette's finest, like, yeah. BBJ's being used as a pawn, exactly. <clears throat> Could you imagine if FFG showed up at your house that day instead of her brother? Yeah, she's too coward. She's a coward. She did it for the... I'm not a coward. I'm not a moron either, though. Hmm? It was Operation BBJ. Not about you and not about me. M. Martinez, thank you for the super chat drama exactly and to one up you like your girl like girl your whole situation with the loser happened almost two years ago get over it ffg exactly if she was just in it just to talk warn me about the relationship anyway everyone was warning me he wasn't a good guy so why does she get this um super big status because she lied her way into the scene just like charlie gold did they all lot she lied about the weight loss situation she's fatter than ever charlie and ffg lied about no somebody knowing not turd she inserted Oh, really, Bish? Then how did I know that he had stabbed two people and gone to jail for two years minus a day? Hmm? 
People were warning you about him because he was obviously a fucking crackhead. And we had seen track marks on his arms during that, um, what was it? The, the magic show. Hmm? What I, I'm, I'm, I'm a psychic. Now. Okay. Wait, we got to add that to the list of like driving the Google truck and time traveler. I'm a fucking psychic now and shit. How the hell do you think that I knew that he had shanked two people? You don't just pull something that specific out of your ass, lunatic. Come on, man. She's insane. Give me more. Thank you for the super chat. Asserted herself. She's creepy. She does it with everything. The fashion show, BBJ. She's a weirdo. She's a stalker. Disgusting weirdo. And nobody wants anything to do with her in her real life other than her brother. <laughs> Hi, energy. <clears throat> She's intimidated by your strong personality and she just can't handle it. She needs to keep bringing you down in order to bring herself up. It's sad. It's disgusting. Garbage people. Nick, I, I, I sense a little jealousy there because Nat always looks like she would kill you if she got the chance. <laughs> Received an NDA from Stephanie Sue and had to drop it. Oh, really? Hmm. Guess what, FFG? I hope you go work at, I hope you go work at uh, Debbie Colbeck's Independent. I hear they're hiring. Oh, girl, <laughs> I would say the same to you when your channel, you know, tanks because you're close. You're you're circling the gutter drain already. You understand? But you're unemployable. So even Debbie Colbeck's whatever the fuck you just said. Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. A plus. FFG is using BBJ as a cash grab. It's disgusting. As soon as FFG stops bringing her super chat, she'll have no use to her. Yeah, and then everybody, if anything happens to that cat, I hope you all eat your super chats, he said to her. I hope you all eat your words. And I hope you know that all of that money is going to be put somewhere. Don't worry. I'm a little, honestly, I'm a little worried for BBJ. Yeah, obviously. FFG is not a nice person. A nice person doesn't do what she does. She's a horrible piece of crap. She probably. I mean, I kind of am a horrible piece of crap. I'll take that. But you know what? I also am an absolute animal lover. Shut up. Oh, my God. It's. It's the only part of my heart that's not icy cold. Do you understand? It's my soft spot. It's what it, it, whatever. But it's also neither here nor there. I'm not the one who has the cat. I don't want a cat. I'm not a cat person. I love all animals. I don't like wish harm to an animal, but like it's very much not my thing. Do you understand? Okay. Don't worry for BBJ. You wanted to just euthanize her or abandon her God knows where. You have no reason to worry for BBJ. She will always be very well taken care of. She lives in the ghetto of Montreal. No one sees her living conditions. And her sister too. Her sister's a weirdo who's willing to lie like that and be a scammer. This is a scam. This is a 100% scam. You think I want to give my pet to somebody uh, related to somebody who's been harassing me for two years? Really? No. And she chain smokes. Who knows? I don't know if these people smoke. I don't know what these people's. I actually think that she knows that they don't. I believe that was brought up in the messages between her and Amy. There's uh, Amy does not at all smoke. There's no smoke in there at all. At all, at all. What I do in my home has nothing to do with that, okay? It is what it is. And talking about the ghetto of Montreal. Listen, NDG is one of the most sought after neighborhoods in this city. Do you understand? It is not. Don't shit on my NDG now. Like we saw what you're living like in fucking Kuwait. I, I, you got to stop shitting. Up. If only your Kuwaiti neighborhood was NDG. Okay. You'd be so lucky. Those lives are like, like they, everything was a lie. They lied to me. So I have no trust. So yeah, I feel uneasy about BBJ for sure. But of course, now that it's in the public eye, she's going to try to make it, you know, my dad is a lawyer. I can ask him whatever you want to know for free. Oh, really? <laughs> FFG's tweets, posts, videos will be surrounded by BBJ to get more money. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not going to give it any attention. They're all going to be talking to themselves as usual. It still dumbfounds me that there's a whole Twitter community of cackling hens, who cat ladies who sit on their ass all day talking crap about other people. At excuse me. Excuse me. I'm part of the Twitter gang gang, and I'm certainly not a cat lady. Okay? Put a little respect on the dog ladies in the group. Leave us, you know, bees and let bees. Twitter's our thing. You, you can't hang. Stay away from it. Oh, my God. But you can't, ladies, on Twitter. Let us have our fun. For God's sakes. There's so little fun in life. <laughs> Twitter is it. Amazon and Marie, thank you for the super chat. You've never watched before? I, I'm, I'm like, is this a troll? <laughs> I can't tell if this is a troll. No offense. It's just that 
you and me are name twins. So Anne Marie, welcome to the girl gang from me, Anne Marie. Ah. At their age in their fifties and sixties, miserable, miserable people. Hell, eighties. Look at tea and dust. She literally has videos. It's creepy of me on watching me on her big screen, just like doo doo and Natter. You see them. I, I have a screenshot of Natter with a swordfish face from the side, watching Salah and I happily on Fileka Fale Fale Island, and he's like, hmm, "What's this?" Yeah, you're disgusting. Oh, okay. Do you have any video of the crazy night that you were up like a lunatic alone all night in Kuwait in Koki's chat fighting with people? Did you take any video of that? Because that would have been 10 times more batshit crazy to watch. I'd love to see that video. Just saying. Sonic Bex, thank you for the super chat. Dustin, you look like a swordfish. If I asked my family to help me scam a cat from someone, they would have me committed. Exactly. Say what you want about my family. They never would. Never. A decent human being. Imagine my grandmother was the same age as tea and, tea and dust. Can you imagine if your grandmother is bullying another person online? What? What? Ew. Charlie Gold crush and burn. Again, maybe it's because I'm an asshole, but if I had a grandmother who had like a reaction channel and was talking mad shit, I would think that's the best thing ever. That is fucking hilarious to me. I don't know. I'd be impressed. Exactly. Same. I would be so impressed. I'd be like, wow. Grandma still got it. I wish my grandma was still around. She was rude. Like, <laughs> so bitchy. We could have had her on the channel to decimate Chantal sometimes. She would have fucking done it in a heartbeat. Oh my God. Deco Echo, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, of course. And so will FFG. Adora massage. What's that, Toriana? She's a hateful, spiteful. I hope Mr. FFG never messed up because she'll. She has, there's no Mr. FFG where proof of life or not, or doesn't have it. There's nothing. <laughs> Let's make a list. Email YouTube and get FFG destroyed. Make oat flour, make <laughs> healthy snack bars, move to Kuwait. Let's do it. Every day she'd be like, well, that one time five years ago, you blah, blah, blah. Right. Right. Yeah. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. She legit doesn't even think she is a stalker, but it's like baby girl you are. Yeah, she is for sure. So Salah, sorry that both your friends betrayed you. Which friends betrayed him? FFG's voice is disgusting. Makes me puke. <laughs> A thousand percent. <laughs> I love that. Whichever beezer that was. Vomit. Choke on it. <laughs> oh, bleh. did you like that? Bleh. When I do the vomit sound in my hideous voice, does that make you puke like extra? I hope it really sets you off. Bleh. Jen Paints, thank you for the super chat, girl. Percent a scam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Murad defended him. Yeah. Yes, we're going to. So so I'm just going to focus on my life, you know. So it's $2 the go-to amount people pay for the attention of someone you claim to dislike. I wish I could pay someone one cent that I dis. I wish I could pay someone. AJ, thank you for the super chat. No. Hi, PNB. They're all weird. T and death gets no views now. <laughs> She's a racist weirdo. Allah is a fake useless. I know Chantal didn't just literally call someone else racist. Really? You are going to call someone a racist weirdo? Okay, racist weirdo, whatever you say. This friend. Welcome, Autumn Anderson. Welcome, loyalty beasters. Ready, set, rebees. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, my God. Loving and caring. Thank you again so, so much for the super chat, girl. Whatever. So moving on, see, I see the thing is, I don't need to keep talking. I talk about them to defend myself, but I don't need to. I have you guys, I can be, I can show you my prayer dresses for content. That's all I have to do. Ooh, foot massager. <laughs> Hi, big toe. The whole family is weird. And she says she doesn't like cats. Remember, they don't either. So she says she doesn't. What? Just because I don't like cats doesn't mean my family doesn't like cats. You remember I, I've told you guys before about that fucking cat my mom had, and I call it that fucking cat because I don't like cats. She was still the queen of the house. She was well-treated. It was my mom's cat. Her name was Nemo. The irony is she looked a lot like BBJ, but like twice the size of BBJ. BBJ could have come out of Nemo. You know, she could have like birthed BBJ. But the, she, oh my God, the same gray cat, the same like, resting bitch face constantly and stuff they all i gotta find a picture of nemo you guys would freak out i'll put them side by side it's weird but all that to say no just because i'm a dog person doesn't mean that other people in my family all have to be dog people too that's just stupid 
with that logic, Chantal, you have two cats. You, your mother has Buster. Um, she's clearly a dog person. How come it doesn't work for you? Funkel family rules don't apply. Annie, thank you for the super chat. Doesn't like it's just for attention. All of it. It's like this is why. If I had known, I would have never given to her to be BBJ to them for for drama, to be milked for drama. This is real nice. Real nice. Hi, Sam B. Anyways, I'm just going to keep up with the lawyer, keep le pursuing legally and see what I can do behind the scenes. I'm not going to make it uh, the focus of my channel because I don't have to. We're going to have fun, not give them any attention they want. But I will be offline, uh, like I said, for a little while, more than likely, just because uh, I need some things to take care of. Uh, Ali, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I have some things I have to take care of. And I just, I just need to focus on that because I have a few days left and I just have to like really crunch down and I'm going to be busy visiting my family um doing other things and now that i'm not having the open house uh i have to get rid of everything so i'm gonna uh, be doing Mame, that Mame, thank you for the super chat live in public anymore while i'm here when we get to kuwait yes we'll do public live streams we'll do a lot of things when we get to kuwait new life i couldn't believe the news when i finally Okay, sorry guys. I see the community tab. We'll, we'll watch it after the stream. I'm not gonna like uh, change the page just for for that. You know what I mean? But we'll laugh at it together after the stream, okay? <laughs> Got caught up. She's gone too far. Yep. So I guess the law will deal with it. Eri T, thank you for the super chat. Talk shame each other in here. <laughs> um. She stole BB. That's so funny. She tells them, don't fat shame each other. I'm not, I'm the only one allowed to fat shame on this channel. Guys, don't fat shame each other in the chat, though. <laughs> what the hell? Gave for attention and money. Exactly. Or she's going to say, I didn't do it. It's my sister-in-law. Well, guess what? I hope your sister-in-law will be in shit, too. I hope she thanks you for it. Why would she be in shit? You were the one discussing back and forth with her. You're the one who decided to give BBJ to her. She's the one who has BBJ. You didn't ask. Her. Oh, do you happen to be related to uh, FFG? Which would be the craziest question in the world. But also, you know, yeah. Griff, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, it's totally normal to get dressed up in disguise, commit identity fraud, all the while scheming in the back. Oh my God, hold on. I'm dressed up in this disguise. Okay, picture me. You know those the thing? It's like a glass is a fake nose and a fake mustache. <laughs> so I'm in one of those, or I'm dressed as like a bear or something, and I'm roaming around to, and committing identity fraud. What? <laughs> no, I've always been FFG. I don't need another identity. I'm fine. Thanks. I'm going to gain someone's personal property, not psychotic or anything. <laughs> yeah. Were you live on those videos? Yeah, I was live when they video. Oh my God, no, there's an emoji of that guy. No, <laughs> there is an emoji of the glasses, nose and 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 uh, what do you call it? mustache thing. That is so funny. I had no idea and that I see them in the chat. Holy shit. <laughs> Colossal Raptor, thank you for the super chat, girl. Taped me in public, yeah. Really, Toriana? <clears throat> Can't believe people dislike you more than FFG. Mom mentality is a powerful, powerful thing. Going to Kuwait away from the reach of these people will just me. Thank you for the super chat. Definitely. So it's going to be Ramadan soon. <laughs> yeah, the Groucho, you know, <laughs> exactly. The place isn't your home, but who you are with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Sala is my home. And now Howie. I can't wait for him to play in the playpen. So when I get home, I'm going to put him in this, clean out his cage. And then we're cuddling for two days whole straight. <laughs> Who, you and your fake husband or you and your hamster? No one cares either way. And we don't care for rat think content. Rat think of the hamster type or rat think of the human type either. Emotional support muffin. Thank you for the super chat girl. And then I guess I'm going to... Yeah, I, I thought like it was the rat balls. pink too. Bloop. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna set up the stream to make the energy balls. What do you think? Taking a break will help. 
<laughs> BBJ is now FFJ. Thank you for the super chat. You look so cute in that video. Thank you. Bakersfield, no. 26 days remaining for Ramadan. Yes. Glow up arc, yes. Please, mice and men, howie. Between the stalking pics the other day and this stunt, I'm actually glad you were leaving the country. Yeah, really, me too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day. Jackal Bones, thank you for the super chat. I don't know what to say. It's it's the beauty of pets being in homes where they're treated like the people. It's like <laughs> things like catios and other ri just ridiculous things. I, I don't I live for ridiculous me. They I need to make a part two of that song, apparently. At least I'm going to be traveling the world with somebody who loves me and with a really handsome man and living my life, getting to make content I want, not having to be negative and dress up in disguise to get content and try just be vile. Um, I'm just glad I'm not her. So that's what makes me happy. And that's what keeps me going. And knowing that talking to that lawyer helps me. Like, I'm going to keep trying to find a lawyer who will help me the best way they can. And I'm going to sue the shit out of her. Inshallah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Address the move back to Kuwait. Yep. I'm leaving Canada. Good things are coming. Knock on wood. <laughs> Don Helen, thank you for the super chat, girl. At the end of the day. <laughs> Remember how hard you and I were list laughing listening to the playback, babe? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> Doctor checkup. Oh, nah. Because I'm going to be, I don't want to be a resident here anymore. All right, I have some quick. Oh my God, it just went by so fast. In the chat, somebody said, why does she have a problem with your disguise when she's been disguised as a Muslim for months now? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> bees and let bees beach. Harper, thank you for the super sticker. Her oats. So these energy balls. Oats. We have to use the food processor. Almond butter, dates, babe, I wish I did, I wish I did, love you all my life, but I will love you all my life, cocoa powder, and I think that's it, I love those, the coffee, I'm gonna make a whole bunch and they're good for the, uh, I'll keep some in my carry-on too, oh no, it's blue star, thank you for the super chat, direct to garbage, never into home. What? Yeah. No, Katie. No. The vet I took her to. To be fair, though, she did shit it on it <laughs> on the way home. So I mean, there was like it's not to be petty. Oh, garbage. You know what? I mean? it, it was shit it on, and then she walked in the poops. You know. Uh. Two. The last time her nails got bad, I said, "Wow, I, I'm surprised her nails got that bad that quick." And they're like, yeah, it, it happens for elderly cats. I've said this a million times. If they don't scratch, like Sam's nails were fine uh, for an example, because he scratches all the furniture. She she stopped scratching. This is what I'm saying. She doesn't have a good quality of life anymore. She just lays around like she's, you know, she's so old. She doesn't barely, she doesn't play. She doesn't scratch. She didn't scratch any of the furniture and she hasn't been scratching anything. The scratching post, I have a big one there. Oh, actually she does play. Again, you're either lying or you never tried to play with the cat or... When she was in so much pain with her feet, maybe she didn't care to play, but she absolutely does play. I saw a little video that if you put your hand like boop, 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 like under the little blanket, oh, she, she, you know, like with her paws, she boops your hands. She's real into it. She's like following it with her eyes. She gets real into that game, girl. Uh, I just don't think you ever engaged with her like that. All you knew how to do was put your hand into a pile of treats and keep on giving it to them. You didn't actually ever play with them or stimulate them at all the burgie thank you for the super chat no scratching so their nails grow extremely long so um you know what i mean huh. i lay around too yeah but i cut my own nails <laughs> so when i saw that obviously i felt bad that's why i said i want to take her i was like i want to take her to the vet and i even said that i'm like i want to take her to the vet in the message because I want her nails to be cut and I offered for it. But no, there would be no drama if her nails were cut. If she got BBJ and her nails were fine, there would be nothing, nothing for her to talk about. Nothing. 
I mean, that's just wrong. Again, had you cut her nails on that day, you would have had to hand over the antibiotic uh, and the, the stuff for the pads, like the, you know, the little medicated things for the pads of the feet. Again, how would you have explained that to someone you're giving the cat away to? You can't. You can't just say, oh, it would have been done and everything would have been fine. I would have looked into the things or, you know, you, do you understand? Absolutely looked in, asked at the vet the very next day and stuff and found out exactly what was going on with the cat. You think that was some kind of thing to like save yourself. And very much so at the last minute, you sent that message about the pads of her feet and the nails in the middle of the night on the day that BBJ was being picked up. Okay. You, you did it to somewhat like cover yourself, but it's too little, too late. Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. So she did that on purpose because she's a piece of crap. She's a psycho. Ready, set, bees, Katie. My cat is eight and he stopped scratching and licking himself and he's so bitter he doesn't let his siblings lick him. His name is Jake. Aw, hi, Jake. <laughs> Excuse me, Lynn. Are you calling me a name? Say goodbye. Matrixie, thank you for the super chat. There's no confusion. There's no confusion. Like maybe people are confused, but they don't listen to me. That's why they only listen to her. So of course they're going to be confused. She doesn't make any sense. No. Answer. Yes, because I'm the one who talks in circles and gaslights the shit out of people. Girl, I'm direct. 100% direct. A little too blunt. I don't sugarcoat a goddamn thing. You and me aren't the same. And you're the one who talks in circles. Don't put that on me. I know you're not. Um, <laughs> God always wins. You're talking about God and if okay, get a life. Danny Pickle, thank you for the super chat. I'm gonna win. Don't worry. It was wrong of that person to film you, but just wondering why you were walking down the middle of the road. It made me laugh <laughs> because I said in the live stream, it's winter. So all along the sidewalk, there's a huge winter and bank, a uh, snow embankment. I can't climb over it. So, or I didn't want to risk it. So I had to go all the way to the store and then go. I couldn't get to the sidewalk. <clears throat> the act of fasting is meant to remind Muslims of the less fortunate and to be to reinforce the need to be thankful. Yes. Yes. And we have a lot to be thankful for. So as one of the five pillars or duties of Islam, fasting during the month of Ramadan is mandatory for all healthy adult Muslims. Yes. <laughs> Austin. I'll always be skipping ahead through all the bullshit, the Ramadan stuff, using the, you know, is Islam as a manipulative tactic. And so I'm not here for any of that shit, honest to God. Fed up of it. It's been quite a while. Quite a while. Uh, Rachel, thank you for the super chat. In Boston, yeah. I don't think that's right for sure. Snow and plows make it impossible to get the sidewalks. Exactly, movie gal. <laughs> Use my benefits there. They are beautiful, yes. The Ramadan experience. Yeah, um, for sure I'll be vlogging, but I don't know. <laughs> All expects get nothing but medical bills. Oh well. Raw for her. Thanks. Squeaky from. I'm excited to see your videos. Where I live, we do not have a Muslim community. Oh, really? Which part of the Middle East? Thank you for the super chat, try me. Middle East. Gonna make your protein balls before the gym. I'm <laughs> in my chats. I find it disappointing seeing that. I don't know. Like I heard about Missy Moo. She's not in my chat. So there's probably is something there. I don't know. I don't really give a shit. I find I, I'm not surprised. Like I've lost faith in so many people. It's just ridiculous. Missy Moo, Pissy Poo is such a puss. Let me tell you what a puss Missy Moo is. Because I don't think we harped on it hard enough when she was brought up at the beginning of the stream. Pissy Poo came into the chat, is outraged by what she saw about BBJ's little nails, okay? And like, oh, talk shit about Jada Allah. How could she let it be that bad in Super Chats? And then like thinks about it for a second. Like, oh no, I must lick ass. How can I not go back to Shanta? Oh no. And like literally just flips, you know, ah. You're so weak, you flip flopper. Pick a fucking side, pissy poo. Oh God, she's a, she's a flip flopping pissy poo. <laughs> Spineless, yeah, it's just gross. Pick a side, you know. Ugh, disgusting. How, how do your like values waver that fast? Just nasty. It's like, 
I don't know. People are not, um, there's nothing wrong with my cheek tooth. Um, hmm. Creations by Butterfly. Thank you for the super chat. You're welcome to Vampire Bees. Is ready to say bees. I don't trust anyone. No. People are fake, 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 fake. You know? Oh, that's a BBJ comment. Goodbye, Jennifer. See you. I'm not going to sit here debating for a fucking month over my cat's nail care. Suck it up. Stay mad. Unsubscribe. Hate me for whatever the fake outrage you want. I'm done talking about it. Period. Period. She's done talking about it. Period. But she's going to go on and on and on about it. But if anyone mentions BBJ, period. She's done talking about period. Loving and caring. Thank you for the super chat. People don't recognize boundaries. People, these people don't even know. You're, these people were all trying to freak out and talk to me. Same audience from FFG about boundaries when I was with Natterd. And now you're, you have none. You have no boundaries. You're a piece of shit. Goodbye. See you. And on that happy note, I don't feel like being on the internet anymore. So I'm going to get off and continue to work on this. Anyways. I said hi, Sparky. Life of V. Thank you for the super chat, girl. No, it's just a hijab I found. I'm like, I need to just cover up. So, ham colored hijab. Bye, Kelly. It's not up to people to monitor if I take my vet cat to the vet every six months. You don't come at people with torches because they don't take their cat to the vet every six months. She's an elderly cat. She's an elderly cat. So, regardless if I brought her to the vet and the vet said she has kidney failure, because I would have said right then and there, euthanize her. I'm not letting her suffer like FFG is doing to BBJ. And like, that is ridiculous. Oh, now she hit a new button. Here we go. I learned a lot about kidney failure this past year. You want to try the information I have in my head? Here's what I can tell you. There's three stages of kidney failure. If you are lucky enough to be able to keep your pet in stage one kidney failure, the, um, what do you call the life expectancy? There is no like time given because they can still have a very, very good quality of life literally can if kept in stage one. Now, how do you keep that pet in stage one? It would be things like renal diet food, renal diet treats, a little supplement added to that food to bolster their kidneys strength. And you can keep your pet in stage one. Hmm? Why wasn't I able to keep my pet in stage one? Because it wasn't, it, it was further than the renal diet and then this and that, the Fortacor that he was taking for his heart causes kidney failure. It was out of my hands. C'était plus fort que moi and anything that they could have done for him. Do you understand, you fucking pig? Your cat doesn't have heart failure, doesn't have to take a fucking Fortacor that is attacking her kidney every day. Your cat just would have needed the fucking renal food and a fucking kidney supplement and had a beautiful quality of life but you're too fucking ignorant and you didn't care enough to pay for the blood test to find out if she was even in kidney failure. Old timey Pandu, thank you for the super chat. She did to her dogs. I'm not, I wouldn't do it. So you can villainize me and you can hate me all you want for my beliefs, but humane euthanasia is an effing thing. My cat is 21. Okay. She's not going. Oh yeah. Listen, I'm not just spewing shit here. I know I'm hundred percent correct. Look up what I just said. I, I'm a 100% correct. It is what it is. To have be the perfect uh, epitome of health at all. If you think that you're delusional and you need to grow up. So I really don't care what your opinion is. And no, I'm not nice to these people. So I don't care. Stay mad. Whatever. Hate me. Like I said, people have unsubscribed. I've lost 1200 subscribers. I don't care. I don't care. So she's 21 years old now. We're noticing that it always changes, right? So in reality, she's probably anywhere between, what, 16 and 21, but we know she's not 21. 16 and 18 years old sounds about right. Mm? I don't know. Sounds about right to me. Uh, Mama J, thank you for the super chat. Oh, there we go. Yeah, between 17 to 21. Okay. The vet, um, they put her age as 18 years old. We were saying some 16, 17, 18. So they went on like the higher end because age can really, you know, affect, let's say, things that they will look into, the frequency of the visits, the whatever. So they went like on the higher end of the age. Julie, thank you for the super chat, girl. Good riddance. Good riddance. 
because I don't want people, fake people in my life. I don't want it. And the whole, she had to draw the hole for drama. BBJ was screaming in pain, screaming, really screaming. Yes, she was. She absolutely was screaming. And again, if I wanted to exploit it, I would have filmed it. But that's not what that day was about. That's ridiculous. Bitter dussy. I let my wound fester moist leakage. Thank you for the super chat, but dussy. Screaming. Probably because she's terrified of you and your ugly mug. What do you think? Literally, I said this so many times in past videos. All you have to do is go back for the receipts. But now you don't care enough. It's just a hate mob. That's all it is. So they don't care about the truth. Like I said, all for drama, all for views, disgusting or disgusting people. And you might be laughing now, but you won't be later when you have to pay back all that money you made at all. Maybe they're so brainless. It's like, I'm, I just, there's no point in talking about it. So is this actually about the cat or is this literally you're jealous about somebody making more money than you? Because the, the lines are massively blurred here. You're you're switching between the two topics mid-sentence. It makes me wonder what your motives are here. Hmm? The money. You don't give a fuck about the cats. You never did. It's about money. <laughs> Bloop. They try to find something to vet you about. It's not about these animals 100%. A bunch of weak hypocrites, and they know they're not taking these animals to the vets like that. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, really? How? Oh, really? I told you a long time ago, not everyone's the same. I am taking the cats to the vet like that. I take the dogs to the vet like that. Whatever is needed. That's part of getting a pet. It's part of like what you sign up for. When you decide if you're a responsible person to go and get a pet, you think to yourself, ah, am I able and willing to take care of this pet in the way that it's supposed to be? You say yes, you get the pet. You say no, you don't get the pet unless you're a selfish asshole like you, Chantal. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat, girl. Exactly. Guaranteed. There's a lot of perfectly fine pet owners who don't who don't take their cats to the vet every six months. Give me a break. Like fair, fair. You didn't want to take your cats to the vet every six months. Okay. Um, let's say I didn't I didn't want to take Ollie to the groomer. He was a dog who needed to get groomed. He had the double fur, it got very long. Uh in the summer, you had to groom him. I, I'm, I wasn't taking him to groomers all the time and shit. So you know what I did? I got a, what do you call it? Like the, tr the trimmer, like a, ha a hair cutter tool. I used to call it his coiffure machine, whatever. And I learned 14 years ago how to give a dog a freaking haircut. And yeah, I used to do his own little spa days, a little haircut, a little bath, a little pampering, a little, you know, it was either spend the money, spend the time, go to the groomer or fucking do it yourself which is a great experience. Your, your pet's automatically less like panicky and jittery and whatever. Those are the choices. The choice is not, well, we'll just leave them alone and let them fucking suffer, you know? So. So anyway, all that to say, if you didn't want to take your cat to the vet every six months, you could, you love buying crap on Amazon. Look, you just ordered a whole box of shit. Why didn't you order a little nail clipper for your cat? Watch videos until you knew how to do it or go and have it done and watch them and tell them you want to learn how to do it. They would be glad to let you see how to do it. And then you could have kept it up yourself, but you don't care enough to. And you never did. Katie, thank you for the super chat. She exaggerated and caught herself in a lie, actually, because she then said she screamed for a bit and then it stopped suddenly as it was a wave of relief that washed over her. Yeah, that's not a lie. I said it. it. She would scream when they would pull the nail out of the pad. When the nail was out, she would stop screaming. It wasn't like a constant scream, but five nails to pull out. There was five incredible screams, you know? She wasn't just wah, 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 going nuts the whole time. She was calm the rest of the time. She was calm while they cut the nails that weren't embedded into her feet. Shannon Verse, thank you for the super chat. She's a freaking pathetic. She emotionally manipulates her audience to get them riled up like that. Animal abuse. Shut up. Like, she's so, uh Yeah, I'd be screaming in pain too if I was in front. Anytime I held BBJ to even touch her paws, she would freak out. Even when her nails were not that long and I tried to cut them. That's why I always bring her to the vet for that. I Maybe it's because she didn't trust you. Hmm? Because BBJ has no problem if you go to touch her feet now. At all. At all. At all. No problem at all. She's very chill. She lets you do whatever. You know what I mean? She has now medication to put on her feet twice a day, all four feet. She's very chill with people touching her feet, putting on the meds. She She's like calm, right? 
If she didn't like you touching her feet, maybe it's because her feet were in pain, number one, and you as her master, or I don't know if master is a thing for cats, but dog lingo, whatever. You as her master, she was depending on you to take care of her and you weren't. You were neglecting that and it was causing her pain. So she didn't want you touching her feet. Can't really blame her, can you? Yellow Moon, thank you for the super chat. Uh, me too. Especially like the past while. And what freaking cat is going to purr getting nails clipped? Thermometers up the butt vaccinations. Like seriously? The cat's going to scream. Exactly. She's full of crap. <laughs> Doesn't matter, Moon Owl. None of your business. Goodbye. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not entertaining. I'm not entertaining the dumbness of this whole thing over my cat's nails. It's not. I offered to take them to get clipped. She said no for the drama. Case closed. She's going to be sued and have to pay back every penny. So get ready. I still love that it's paid back every penny. You do sound as dumb as the old bitch in the attic. And I know that's where that's coming from. She's the only one who was always counting everybody's money. <laughs> I smell where this bullshit's coming from. Counting money and talking about lol suits? Attic dwellers. <laughs> I see you, Mima. <laughs> and she's sounding as fucking stupid as you do. Sophisticated sketches. Thank you for the super sticker. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Mm. Mm. I took my middle and I, I, I just love, I just love, love. I'm, I'm going to love, actually, once I find out that if, if this lawyer is going to help me, I'm going to love. I didn't want it before it was daunting, but I'm going to love going through all of those live streams right from the beginning and documenting every little bit of harassment, every little bit of creepy stalking, every little bit of hate against me. And you are going to, whenever you, you're not able Holy crap. We stream sometimes for hours a day and we've been doing it for almost two years. Imagine spending all that time going through all those streams at the end. It's like, oh fuck, there's no actual stalking. Oh, what the shit? <laughs> I would say that would have been a waste of time, but you would have wasted it anyway, Chantal. So knock yourself out. Rabbit, rabbit sugar. Thank you for the super chat to talk about me anymore what are you gonna do let's see what what type of jobs ffg is gonna get colbeck's independent is hiring in the meat aisle using it what kind of jobs listen listen i've said this before too um i know you you like what they did your your beezers to Didi and stuff and get her fired and shit and i understand there's different kinds of work in this world there are the kind of jobs where like oh no People are calling. People are talking about your behavior online. Like that would matter. I get that. That's like up here. And then there's the, my kind of jobs where I literally punch in, do a physical job all day, fuck around, like <laughs> been there forever. No one cares. Honest to God, in the kind of work that I do, no one gives a fuck about what you're doing online and what people are saying about you online. Can you produce? Yes or no. Are you good at what you do? Yes or no. No one fucking cares. Check fucking mate. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. An animal for views. If she was a good person and actually cared for the welfare of that animal, she'd do it in silence. She's such a bitch. My cat scream like they're... Oh, but VI bitty it with short memory. Remember that FFG offered to do it in si silence. FFG offered $3,000 for the cat and to sign an NDA. And that's what an NDA is. You two dumb fucks in her chat. She offered. She was turned down. Okay. Okay. No NDA. I don't have to shut my face. Cheyenne, thank you for the super chat. They're on fire. It's life. I don't like seeing my doctor. That woman. Oh, and she also tried to do a privacy complaint on me because she's pathetic. She doesn't like false striking. She always cries about false striking. She tried to put a, a privacy complaint on me. For just mentioning, um, remember in my live stream where I went to Juice Dudes and got the, the smoothie? And I said, if anyone knows any information about her, email me. She tried to make that a privacy complaint. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't. She's making this up. <laughs> I have never done a privacy complaint to Chantal. Never. You're just bullshitting now. Chantal, shut up, man. Nashville Senorita, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> didn't fall through, did it? Loser. Her entire channel is harassment. Her entire existence is harassment. <laughs> like, she's pathetic. I'm sure, you know, I know I said I'm not going to talk about it, but it is going to stop. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I'm just going to do, I'm going to be about all that action. Don't worry. It's about time. <laughs> it's about time. We have never seen BBJ in agony ever. Never. 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 
Really? Really? I guess you missed when she was limping down the stairs recently then. I guess you missed while she was starved for two days and crying out for food, literally. Hmm? That, but Chantal, when you lost power for two hours and you posted up that you were, you cry for food and shelter. How come it was good enough for your fat ass after two hours, but you had the audacity to feed, uh, starve that cat for two days? Bipolar Noir, thank you for the super chat. If she was so bad, how was she jumping up on the chair, moving around? The best job for FFG is to like choose dirty shoes, like toilet bowl. She should be a toilet bowl cleaner with her mouth. <laughs> For all the crap she talks. Yeah. No, I don't want to be with Koki. I'll leave that to you and Dee, Dee Bitch, you've been the one cleaning toilets with your mouth. Except even that dirty fucking crackhead toilet didn't want that tongue. Bloop. Her privacy complaint. What about my privacy complaint? Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Yeah, you can't even speak English. I swear her her audio. What if? Thank you for the super chat. Like really, they have no brains. I don't want to use uh, bad words, but they're not too bright. <laughs> they're all like curly. Not many can say they've had a cat that long. Exactly, exactly. But Black Zillion, they don't see the stupid hypocrisy. They're dumb. Like they literally berate me for she. Her reasoning for rescuing BBJ is because she was rescuing rescuing her from euthanasia. Even though maybe the cat needed to be euthanized, you don't know. I was going to bring her to the vet to determine if she's, like, what her health status was. Oh, on the day that you wanted to euthanize her. You weren't you weren't going there to do, like, a full blood test, a full urine test, a full, like, physical on her. No, no. You were just going to randomly ask a vet if it's okay to euthanize your cat after starving her and lying to the vet about it, the cat's condition. Um, what? That's not how you determine the health of your cat. How you determine the health of your cat would have been a year and a half ago or whatever, a year ago when you went to clip her nails and they suspected something with her kidneys, you would have made the appointment to go bad for the blood test. That's what that would have been. You can't on the spot just be like, should we euthanize? Like they would look at you like you were from Mars and be like, well, this cat hasn't been here in years. We're going to have to do some blood tests. And as you can see in the receipts, I offered to do it, but that gets overlooked because of drama. And she's the one I haven't euthanized her. She's the one who euthanized her dogs. So she's going to save BBJ from euthanasia when she has two dogs on her track record for euthanasia. Why are we villainizing euthanasia anyway? Like, it's ridiculous. Mind your business. Like, you, you could not be stressed out. Are you fucking stupid? I swear to God, did you get dropped on your head as a baby or some shit? She didn't even take a pause in that sentence. That sentence was literally giving me shit for euthanizing the two dogs. And then also without even a breath saying, why are we villainizing for euthanizing or like whatever? Are, are you out of your fucking mind? You, that was one sentence. You're lying now mid sentence. You're changing mid sentence now. Not even a breath, not even a pause. That shit crazy. Kelly thing. Thank you for the super chat. Start about this by just minding your business. Plain and simple. <laughs> oh, I love whenever he, I love when people give me their money and I don't have to see the message. Thank you, baby. Oh my God. Animals have fur. It gets matted. Exactly. Exactly. She's you. Right. So you brush it and you clip the fur near their butt. If poop is getting stuck. That's why there was always shit all over the villa. It was stuck in their fur and they were just walking around till it fell off. It's not, that's not it. Like, exactly, exactly. That's just another example of neglect. Lala, thank you for the super chat. Using this cat, she's going to have this cat poked and prodded at just for views. I hope you guys are happy. She looked like she was going to tell her friends not to come to school tomorrow in her disguise. <laughs> Too bad you can't set a minimum limit for these Becky, super chats. You know, I yet. haven't seen the email. It's been crazy. I will check, girl. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe we'll go to the Maldives with all the hate money. Anyway, <laughs> you're welcome. You're still live. Yay, my toddler just laid down so I can sit and watch. Yeah, Sam B, I don't know for how long, but Salah is such a good man. He is. Thank you, Lynn. He really is. He really is. She was low-key looking like pumped up kids. <laughs> She's pathetic. She thinks she's funny. She thinks she's she thinks she's a riot. I hope she wears that. Oh, I am a fucking riot girl. <laughs> Me and that the, the sunglasses and shit. That was hilarious. Bitter dusty. I let my wound fester moist leakage. Thank you for the super chat. 
disguise in, in court. Like seriously, when the when the judge sees her in that disguise, like, oh my God. Oh, I hope she's. Well, let's put it this way. If I had to go to court in winter, you would see me walking into court in my disguise. <laughs> what the hell, Chantal? But you'd probably just walk in in one of your little cardigans. huh? Save some of that money she made. I hope so. Civil, civil litig litigation bees coming. Civil litigation bees incoming, like cell phone snails. <clears throat> some of them are doing it to antagonize you and you give them what they want when you respond. You should just vlog with us like normal. If they don't get the attention they want, they slowly die. You're so right, Toriana. That's the plan. But I just wanted to, before I, before I never talk about this ugly run. Oh my God. <laughs> Living a spoony life. Thank you for the super chat. That is hilarious, number one. But please don't. Like, we're, we're making a lot of crazy jokes here and stuff. But that money would be much well better spent, let's say, donating to a cat. Because nobody, cat, human, anything, needs a fucking Tiffany spoon to be served their food. Even though that is fucking hilarious. Ever again? This disgusting dingleberry? I want her to know that she's going to be sued for a lot of money. Or put away criminally, one of the two. Or maybe a bit of both. We'll see. I swear to God, Allah, you better co fucking come through. You have said a lot. Ah, we have listened to you, and we are giving you the benefit of the doubt. This bitch and her big mouth, I can't wait for Karma to fight her in her ass. You better, Allah. I swear to God. It's like I said, huh? If Allah doesn't do shit, we give him two weeks from when she gets to Kuwait. If there's been fuck all done... I'm never acknowledging this person's existence again. We don't need another bullshitter in the orbit. It's been said. Uh, Beck Sassy Bear, thank you for the super chat, girl. And your audience helped you get there with their added harassment. I love it. But no animal cruelty, only human cruelty. <laughs> Thanks, Hamby. It is freezing today. Yeah, it is. Very cold. Anyone in the mood for goat cheese and crackers? <gasps> Do I have anything in the cup? I'm checking what I... I did some groceries yesterday. <laughs> I need to put this ground beef. I have halal ground beef because I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make Kimmy, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Babe, I love when you sing that. You change your passion for glory. Babe, can, I want to see you dance the dub was so cute in that video. <laughs> You're so cute. Be like FG Kaya, all have unhealthy emotional reliance upon their pets. They're completely textbook. This behavior is well documented in certain individuals. What's the matter with having an unnatural attachment to your pet? You had an unhealthy attachment to a crackhead who didn't want you. Hmm? Why didn't they have so much to say about that? I would rather a million times over be sickeningly attached to a dog than be uh, wound around the finger of a fucking crackhead. What the hell, man? You don't know what real love is, Chantal. You can't even imagine it. So you don't know, like, loving and being loved by an animal is love in its most pure form. Absolutely. It exists on this earth. Besides, I suppose, a baby. You know what I mean? Um, you can't relate. Mm -hmm. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Keep the subject changed. Yeah. So moving on, literally to a different arc. It's crunch time. It's down to everything. This has been a horrifying, horrifying month home. And I never want to come back here ever again. I swear. I swear. I hate this place. I hate living here. Well, inshallah, you never do come back. And that's how you use inshallah. Angelina Janae, thank you for the super chat girl. And I want to leave. <laughs> so thank you. Bigger and better things, yeah. Baby, I can't wait to come see you and we can travel and live happy. <laughs> girl, we like on. Thank you for the super chat, girl. I hate, I hate this weather. I hate, and I know I hate the heat, but I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm changing. Like I'm starting to like the heat more. I love the weather in Kuwait a lot more. Will I like it in the summer? I'd rather be in the AC than have to worry about the ice and snow and freezing and, yeah. Would you guys ever live in? No, I don't want to live in America, honestly. In the long run. I like to be able to come back and forth with Salah as we need to, but as for living in North America, that's not the goal. 
Oh, crap. Lydia, thank you for the super chat. Is this really the reason? I never really, under, again, I'm not a cat person and I, I'm sorry, but I just wasn't interested enough at the time to maybe look into this for myself. I just, okay, you know. Is it true that Timbit was isolated in that room because she wouldn't vaccinate her cats? Is that as simple as it was? I kind of thought vaccinating or not, like they couldn't meld those cats. Are you fucking kidding me? I want to know this, if this is actually true. This is a yes. Oh my God. Everyone's saying yes in the chat. What the fuck? I never understood that. Oh boy. I swear, I swear to God, I never understood that. I would have... I would have been speaking about this. That's not, I, I had no idea. I didn't know that. I thought it was like Timbit had something that like vaccinated or not, the other cats could have gotten sick. I had no idea that a vaccine is all it would have taken. And Timbit could have been roaming the house too. That is such disgusting bullshit. Oh my God. Poor Timbit. Wow. Oh, that's so gross. I swear to God, I had no idea. How come no one ever said this before? Y'all blew my mind. Lydia, thank you for the information. What the fuck? Oh. Like long term. Vlog arc, food arc, vlog arc, food arc, husband arc, Kuwait arc, moving on from offensive statements we said in the past arc, glow up arc and weight loss arc, also faith arc. Yes, Soriana. <clears throat> Better sleep with your eyes open. I have mace beside my bed. After Ramadan, we'll go to Umrah, Mecca, in Saudi Arabia. Oh, my other username was hard to pronounce. Thank you for the super chat. Saudi Arabia. Yes, baby. <laughs> Inshallah, I can't wait. If you ever complain about heat in Kuwait, we will remind you of this. Yes, please do. I don't know what it's going to be like in the summer. <clears throat> court bees in. Oh, yeah, we have to court bees as well. This is the, the foodie beauties have enough of your crap arc. But it's not going to give you the time of day online because you know what? You need my attention. 100% they need us. Um, yeah. Learning Arabic arc. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I bought one of those TikTok Bluetooth. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Listen, I just saw it fly by in the chat. Be ready to FFG. Be ready to intervene if she adopts a child. Listen. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys. Stop putting it all on me. I've done what I can do. I, I, what, what would I be able to do if she's adopting a child for the love of God? I'm going to start getting this from now. Can we at least stop? Okay. Oh, if they're ever talking about actually adopting a child, what, put it on me then. Okay. Give me a fucking break until that moment, please. For the love of God. <laughs> oh my God. My head's gonna fucking explode. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, uh, Katie, uh, Katie, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Remotes that let you scroll through using the remote instead of your fingertips. So lazy, but good. Bluetooth remotes. I've never seen that. So lazy. <laughs> if you're a huge TikTok scroller, I guess that would help. I need you, Chantel. Yes, yes. <laughs> Babe, you make me laugh. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, how much do I hate Canada? I hate Ottawa. I hate where I live right now, like at 12. Canada, I don't know if I hate Canada. I don't I don't like living here. Honestly, I don't. So I remember your husband saying Kuwait has AC. Nowhere's perfect. Like what, just because I'm from Canada, I should appreciate it. I don't like living here. There's like so many countries in the world, you know? Kuwait has AC everywhere. Oh, yeah, Sam B. Like, it's super. Gino, thank you for the super chat and the info. Super, super hot. But, of course, there's water places outside everywhere. There's even the parks have misters. <laughs> but I'm not going to go out in the day. The trick is to go out at night when the sun is down. And then it's less hot. Oh, listen, listen, Amy. Thank you for the super chat. I always said, right? Like, I don't push first. But I push back. That's all. But there is AC. We have central air in our apartment. So how is our apartment so crappy if there's central air? Like, really? Actually, I love... Because you live in fucking Kuwait, man. Or you don't live, but the apartment's in Kuwait. I imagine anything in Kuwait would have to be heavily air conditioned. You know, if you didn't want to die in a windowless cell of an apartment. 
I'm watching, there's a lot of people on TikTok who TikTok their lives all around the world. There are some people in China and Vietnam. They live in apartments. Hi, Maddie. Welcome to Grand Prime Beach. ready to set bees. They live in apartments that are literally like this big. And they cook out of one. There's this one girl. She's in the SCB. Thank you for that. Coming home from work, turning on a ceiling fan that barely works in her shoebox apartment. But like positively still making a meal out of little things that she has. And it makes you be, it just makes you so appreciative for every little thing that you have. You know what I mean? You didn't see any AC in his. <laughs> Is Kuwait a third world country or first world? First world countries, are, I think, are only in like, uh, no, I don't think it's considered a first world, but it is like one of the richest countries. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the ignorance. Oh my God. I, I th These are the things though I enjoy about Chantal, okay? This isn't cat abuse and, and the, all the sick shit. I love the actual, like the level of ignorance at the, you're almost 40 years old. How do you know nothing about nothing? Corn, Cornwall, listen, listen, I don't understand. How do you not teach people things? Cause these are things I learned in like high school and shit. What is fucking wrong with Cornwall? Oh my God. She knows nothing. Airhead. It's beyond man. Are they just learning how to grow corn? Is that all that happens in corn? Maybe they, that's why they don't have time for other stuff. Moonface Pondu, thank you for the super chat. Vegas is a demon in the summer. My cat looks like BBJ too. Rest in peace, BBJ. Yeah, really, Maddie? Yeah, she's very old. You know. <laughs> Beauty, booty. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Felicia, you're probably the, you're very nice. I was gonna say you're probably the nicest person, but everyone who's given me super chats is very nice, except the haters with their blue super chats. They can kiss it. Thank you so much, Alicia. I'll use it toward legal help from. I'll use it towards legal help. Thanks, Elizabeth. The most powerful and stable currency, Michelle knock on wood, in the world is Kuwaiti dinar. Yes. Cold world terminology. I feel so bad for what happened to BBJ. Thank you, Alicia. Yeah, I didn't want her to get rehomed with a vile monster either, but. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, the wild monster it. doesn't have you, fakey cat. Okay, don't worry. Oh, Jesus Christ. James Christian, thank you for the super chat. So, but it'll it'll go to court. It's all going to go to court. I have a, a meeting with, I'm going to call the lawyer Monday. So we'll see. I'm also going to um, see if I can file any kind of charges. Um, the police report I filed, I got some news back. They need more information. So I actually have to work on that. So uh, these are added. Oh, you are so full of shit. The police report I filed. They want more information. You told us the other day. They told you to go fuck yourselves mm, in fewer words. Stop lying, you liar. You're not scared of anybody. Is it for you? Does this make your ego feel better? If it does, I suppose, go on. Do what you need to do to, you know, make yourself feel better. <laughs> Chicklets, thank you for the super chat. It stresses and I'm like barely coping right now. Um, if you want to get glee out of me having a hard time, there you go. But yeah, I'm just, I'm over it, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and rehoming the cats was like really hard. Um, everything is hard. I cannot just, cannot just, I cannot wait. The reward and chins, be... Thank you for the super chat. Yeah. <laughs> Win the battle. <laughs> thank you, Alicia. I'm trying, you know. Oh, Mel, thank you for the super chat. That's a good point. You're right. If she actually had a lawyer, you would have told her to shut the hell up by now. Great, great point. Oh, my God. FFG, she wants the money. Absolutely. Seems beyond obvious at this point, eh? Lori, thank you for the super chat. Lynn, I'm ignoring your thing because it said BBJ. Krenna, smile. Oh, I love the name change. I'm, I'm here for the name change. Thank you for the super chat. Chantal is not bobbing for apples. BBJ is safe. Would you ever come to Scotland? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I think she's scary. The obsession is too much. Yeah, it really is. I phoned a lawyer. Yep. Wow, Ultra. Thank you for the super chat. Lawyer. 
And like I had to go through a service where they matched me up with a lawyer that could help with this particular situation, litigation law or civil litigation. And they're like, whoa, they're like, yeah, you need, it's this, this type of case is like, it's like a work of art. Like you have to, <laughs> it's like working on art. You have to, it, it takes time and it's like takes precision and to go through everything. So they're going to, they said to leave it with them for the weekend and I'm there. We're going to reconvene on Monday. And that's all I'm going to say after that. It's going to be wait for me in the shadows, biatch. I'm coming for you and you won't even see it. First of all, bitch, you'll be the one casting the 450 pound shadow. There's no way that you sneak around nobody and nobody sees it, okay? And is that some kind of a threat? Because it sounds, again, like some kind of a threat. Christina81, thank you for the super chat. Don't tell all of your moves. Exactly. She will get hers. Exactly, Black Cillian. And you're a smart lady. You're right. <laughs> Ooh, FBI agent uh, Frank, thank you for the super chat. I have not been to Europe, Mistress, no. Not yet. Right now, I'm more interested in, like, the Middle East. Um... Uh, what else? I'm really liking the Middle East. Crimea? Where's that? I put my 13-year-old cat down when she had... Crimea. Crimea that was in the news like day after day after day for the longest fucking time. Where's that? I don't know anything. Is that in Ottawa? Is that near a Burger King? Can I get a Nashi? Answer, am I going to jail? Squeaky from people would probably expect you to get the cat chemo or they would call you a cat killer, apparently. No. Thank you for the super chat. She put her dogs down for a lot less, um, especially the second one, and she's not villainized. So I get to go to the mall tomorrow with my sister and shop. We're going to get Cheesecake Factory. Are you busy this weekend? Yes. I hope you enjoy. I didn't really enjoy the Cheesecake Factory. The cheesecake is good, though. Cheesecake Factory sucks. Unpopular opinion. It all sucks. And the cheesecake tastes like it's frozen. How about that? Uh, Deborah Saunders, thank you for the super chat, girl. But the food was meh. Overrated. But I hope you have a good experience. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be busy with family this weekend and just dealing with everything here. So I have to be out of here Monday. <clears throat> so. Ah, she has to be out by Monday. Interesting. Okay. The countdown to the end of the villa continues. I wonder if we'll get another stream from the villa. Or like a goodbye. You know, like, oh, when they finally clean it up. No, because then we'll see how dirty they left it. It would be fun, though, if they took us on a, like a goodbye through the villa. Nemesis, thank you for the super chat, girl. Um, can you get a restraining order? That's what I have to find out. That's what I have to find out. Dubai. <laughs> Rad Chad, thank you for the super chat, girl. We're going to go to Dubai. Maybe someday London. I don't know. London's not really on my list of like places I've always wanted to go. <laughs> but maybe. You have not changed your name. Can I say that I have a mini crush it's coming to an end? So enjoy while it lasts. Um, oh, I'm sorry about your breakup, Toriana. Thank you for the super chat, Triggered <laughs> Andy. These people hang on to every word. No, don't wish for snow. It's gross. Ew. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, this uh, one's boring. Is anything else going to happen? One more skip ahead and then we'll tip. It's almost over. I have stuff to do. In gaming. Yeah. I know. I need to focus on other things. I don't know how people deal with drama every day. Oh, I hate it so bad. It's so petty and stupid. Ma'am, you create the drama every day. All right, we're done here. Love that. <laughs> Lazy, thank you for the super chat. Uh, okay, we're going to get into the stream from today. If you guys are down, I'm down to continue. There was, hey guys, it's really short. It's like, holy crap, what, 30 minutes only? We will watch it together. I am currently, um, oh, an hour and five minutes behind in the chat. I'm so, so sorry, everybody. I'm really not keeping up well today. Let me get the tab. There we go. Oh. Bijou Bug, thank you for the super chat, girl. Hey, Lulu. 
Is that better? Hey, Crispy. I have toothpaste, toothpaste dry mouth. I need a coffee. Oh, God. Okay. Melissa, thank you for the super chat. Let, let me address the, the tattered blanket where BBJ was. Okay. So when BBJ was brought to my sister-in-law's house, uh, my sister-in-law used to have a cat. Cat passed away. Anyway, long story short, it was a cat's bed and tried it on the floor to think maybe, maybe BBJ would like it, like smelling another cat. It might like comfort her or whatever. It was, a, it was an attempt for her comfort. BBJ walks right over to the bed, crawls on the bed, lays down, gets super comfortable. She has like made that her spot. She fucking loves that spot, I guess, because of the smells. Right. Um, so yeah. Is it, is it like, old? Is it a little tattered? Yeah. Who the fuck cares? It's clean. It's comfortable. And BBJ feels really comfortable and at home on it. Like, what are you going to take it away from her? No, leave her be. Let her, let her be happy. Melissa, thank you for the super chat. The so dire. Lollipop, Crispy, Gemini, Movie Gal. Hey, Energy, P and V. It's a rainy morning. Coffee and vape? Like, do you, what do you vape? Mimi, hi, Kitty. Amaya, Lisa P. For oh my God, you're right. Letter B's. <laughs> Not letter B. <laughs> Triggered Andy. Thank you for, again for the super chat. Freya, hello. Rhonda. Um, right now I'm getting coffee. Let's go, girl. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> and I'm just barely up, so I'm like, <laughs> Tiffany. Oh, nicotine. I look pretty. Really? Thank you. I'm in a modest uh, bees. Oh, baby. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm in a modest bees. She says full face of makeup. Well, is a foundation. I don't know, but there's definitely a horrifically colored lip gloss going on there. Ugh. Ham colored lip gloss, lots of eye makeup, and she looks presently high. I could be wrong. It might be the lip gloss, but she's got mad pasties. So I, I don't know. I always go high and the eyes look a little high too. Ooh, so nice of you to join us. I feel a little, I'm not congested, but just, ugh. Melanie, thank you for the super chat. I swear my moisturizer from Lush is amazing. My hijab is bothering me. <laughs> okay. We've watched, oh, what, a few seconds of it? She's high as a kite. I'd bet anything on it. And I'm always right about these things. <laughs> this is some kind of an edible or something. She's wrecked. And she is in the Star Starbucks line lineup. So she drove herself to the Starbucks in this condition. Wow. Didn't you say you weren't going to stream in public anymore? And didn't I just say that... Canada will thank you because you're a fucking menace to society on the road. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Well done, Chantal, as always. VI peasant cheeseburgers love Sam. Are you the one from Chantal's chat? If you are, either way, it doesn't matter. Welcome. <laughs> Marhaba. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. It's slipping everywhere. <laughs> Dandy. What did he freak out? I didn't hear him. Lockma bees? No, I can't be stuffing myself with lockmas. I have to stuff myself on a plane soon. Thanks, Dandy. Finch, thank you for the super chat. Finch Harper, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Um, my phone, my moisturizer is called the Skins Shangri-La from Lush. Um, I like this hijab pin, but. Oh my God. No, no, no. Like, listen, listen there. We've said it before. The difference between like when you smoke a J and when you, when you take an edible and stuff. And it, there's a obvious difference to people who know THC. This is not Chantal has smoked and is driving, which would have been bad enough. This is Chantal is shit faced right now. Like shit faced. She is high, high as balls. Like we usually see her like in her room and eating paneer high. 
I'm going to be fiddling with it. So I don't have very long because uh, I have places to be because I'm so important. No, I'm kidding. I need a chocolate croissant and I need a coffee. Like, I need it. <laughs> uh, BBJ's tattered blanket. Thank you for the super chat. Sound like elephant stuff. Amy says she would return BBJ if you change your mind. That might be enough to show that the money's together. Everything about this, Rhonda, I'm dealing with offline. I saw a brief rage and then it disappeared. <laughs> Big Capri Sun, thank you for the super chat. Oh, is it expensive? Um, yeah, it's like I think it's like 50 bucks. I'm not too sure though. I think 40 something or 50. So I'm not 50 bucks for what? Wait, is she still talking about something from Lush? My God, you love wasting money. The absolute dumbest stuff that she buys. What the hell is wrong with her? Oh, she baked, baked. Yeah, baked, baked. Uh-huh. This is no J or like hitting the vape pen high. Mm -mm -mm. No way. <laughs> that femme, thank you for the super chat. Too bad. I mean, good moisturizers are expensive. <laughs> you know, so. They were poking at him again. Grinding their nose in it, they're sadists. P and V, you're so smart. It's true. People are horrible to Pete's in his chat. It's annoying. Um, let's see. People are horrible to Pete's and Pete's chat. It's annoying. So people are supposed to care about his what mental state, but you, his best friend, is not. And people are horrible about what? That he also was with the cat for three months and couldn't be bothered to notice her nails, couldn't be bothered to open the door for the mobile vet. Yeah, people are pissed, rightly so. Lori, thank you for the super chat. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks, Rocky. What can I start for you? Um, okay, sorry, can I have a grande pistachio latte? Aunt Cecilia, thank you for the super chat. Sure, do you want that warmed up? Um, sure, thanks. All right, and what else for you? And just a grande ice water. No problem, is that going to be everything? That'll be it. Great, that'll be 11 18. We'll be on Sunday. Thank you. Okay, no more, no more expensive coffees. <laughs> anyway, I'm just really tired right now. I'm just really tired right now. You see the, the strings of like pasties? Hanging from her uh, bottom lip to her teeth. That's not really tired. That's mad pasties because you're fucking high as bulls. <laughs> driving. Driving. High as bulls. Hi, Renaru. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm not going to go live in public anymore because I'm going to be stopped, but... FFG's tacky ass Gucci chair. Who's gonna buy me for BBJ? No. <laughs> Although it could be her throne. I have the driest mouth. Oh, why do I always do this? Every time I brush my teeth, I need to drink water after. Anyways. You grind your own beans and roast them. Oh, she brushed her teeth with an edible. I see. Oh, that's my bad. Okay. She brushed her teeth with an edible and then also swallowed it. <laughs> she, I hate when she does this, when she talks to everyone like they're such morons. We have done this a million times, calling out when she's high. We know we're always right. We've been right since she's been back from Kuwait. She's had to give a couple of apologies for lying. High is all hell and driving a car, everybody. Love for life. Thank you for the super chat. And Rusty Spoons, hey, thank you for the super chat. Why does her face bother you so much? I don't know. It's like when someone's on your nerves, hmm? everything they do bothers you. So maybe it's that level now because of the cat situation. I don't know. <laughs> you love coffee? What kind of coffee do you love and how do you drink it? Vinny, thank you for the super chat. Okay, I have a dirty thing to confess. I'm going to confess this. You know I hate Starbucks. I tried the pistachio latte. Oh, my God, I tried it. Okay, the foam was awesome. The foam that, like, smells and tastes a little bit like a pistachio, 
Very, very good. Ooh, delicious. Once you get past the foam, it doesn't taste at all like pistachio anymore. And all you're left with is the disgusting Starbucks coffee. So they got to figure out a way to put some of that fucking pistachio flavor into the coffee or just sell a cup of foam. What the shit? The, the, the coffee was so bad. But that foam, though. I wish I knew how to make that foam. That foam was mm, mm, mm. The Armen, thank you for the super chat. I'm really quiet today. I don't really have much to talk about. Do you think us Americans would have more to talk about than our drama online? This is the biggest Chernobyl. Wait, you know what? Now that I'm thinking, I'm lying. I didn't get a latte. I got a cold brew. It was a pistachio cold brew. It was like a very strong, very dark coffee underneath the foam. It was not a latte. My bad. But it was disgusting. It, it, it always is. It's just not my thing. You know. Come on. MG, thank you for the super chat. Girl, thank you for being here. Sweet coffee. <laughs> you like mocha, baby. Hmm? <clears throat> I think you like tea more though, don't you? Like sweet tea? You don't really like, one thing we have in common is we prefer cold drinks, but today is freezing. Today is like seven Fahrenheit. How your face. No, no, no. Frenchie get black cold brew. The foam contaminated it. No, the cold brew was the disgusting part because Starbucks coffee is disgusting to me. The cold, the foam was amazing. I really, really liked the foam. I wish I could make that flavored foam. It was good. Philip, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Hello. Oh no, a train derailment. Right. Inflation is crazy. A plus. What would we talk about it here? And no, it is nothing like that. What kind of stuff was on the train? Like corn. I'm very modest with my makeup. <clears throat> very modest with my makeup. Look at that face. Look at all that makeup. And look at those high eyes. She thinks putting on, she's figured out how to do like two layers of mascara. Something that the rest of us figured out when we were what? Oh, 14 years old. Something like that. You put the one on, you let it sit there for a little bit. You add a little more on top and get those crazy fucking mascara eyes. She's pulling crazy mascara eyes. I feel you. I used to be Madame Mascara, okay? However, your crazy mascara eyes don't hide the fact that those eyes are high as balls. It just makes it look a little more crazy. All that soot, all that mascara, and like the edible, glassy, glossy eyes under there. Crazy. <laughs> Past curfew. Thank you for the super chat. Actually, last night I did a full face of makeup just to see like, you know, and the lashes, everything, it just looked like over the top for me. It felt over the top now. Nick, thank you for the super chat. Carry in a cute teacup for a photo op. <laughs> oh, you. Harry. Can we have a positive stream? It is. Instead of Alice, I would say Harry in Wonderland. <laughs> Stop it. You like that movie? And in Boston, thank you for the super chat, girl. I want to go to, to a Mad Hatter tea party. We can be weird together then because people think that's weird. I'm weird too. We are going to run some errands and ignoring all the Karens. Ignoring the Karens who don't agree with either uh, animal neglect, abuse, or the fact that you're driving high as balls right now. Yawning, burnt out so bad pasties, visible, yeah, man, just gross. Did you guys ever see <clears throat> the skit from Kids in the Hall where I think it's, is it Bruce McCullough? What's his name? Bruce McCullough? Is that his name? I can't remember the name. Anyway, these two guys are sitting in an apartment and they're eating macaroni and cheese. I'm so fucking grossed out. I know I always harp on this. I just can't. As a stoner myself, I'm so ultra aware of it. It's why I always have a drink next to me. I can't stand to see the pasty, like that, like, uh, string. And when she speaks, going from her her tongue to her, not her tongue, her tooth to her uh, bottom lip, 
I can't help it. I don't, I hate it. And I also can't help but stare at it. And so I hate myself because I can't fucking look away. Oh, just get your drink, man. Do you, fuck it. Is everyone else staring at it too? Do I hate myself? Is that why I do this? I don't know, maybe. Cotton mouth. Yeah, I call it mad pasties, but yeah, cotton mouth pasties, same shit. Same thing. Valley of a great divide. Thank you for the super chat. These uh craft dinner in the box like um craft macaroni and cheese dinner i think you guys have in the states in the box <clears throat> journey to the center of the earth i don't know if i've ever seen that babe well i'll have to watch it with you suzanka thank you for the super chat oh i have a new mascara it's a maybelline one is that vegan i didn't even check oh well i don't know <laughs> it's called um falsies something falsies okay hold on Cutting up our tape. Look at this mascara. What are you supposed to? <laughs> Hi. Coffee face. But I don't want any. Astro for that. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Either. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to be on the lookout now. Who's looking at me? <clears throat> oh, Betsy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Thanks for being here. That is such great news. Congratulations. I'm so glad you're doing well. The sun hurts my ice, and I left my sunglasses in Kuwait. Thank you, pickle soup. I don't have any makeup on today, just the gloss and mascara. And uh, Maybelline's guy. Oh, who joined? Little Sleepy B, thank you for the super chat. Uh, no, the blood tests haven't been done yet. What the other day was just an emergency visit to take care of her the the feet, you know, the nails and the pads of her feet. Um, her appointment is this coming week for the bloods, urine test, um, physical, what they called from nose to tail tail tip. I forgot how they call it, but like, like full, full checkup and physical. So we'll give the bloods. And I, I think I find it, it usually takes them a day. They usually like call me the next day with blood test results and stuff. So we'll know next week. I mean like this coming week, you know, like after the weekend, like corn. <laughs> you mean cornflakes, the cereal? <laughs> You're so funny, baby. Hey, Michelle, hey Tiffany. Thank you. Mm. Man, sorry, thank you for the super chat, girl. Maybe that's the best thing ever. Pistachio latte. Well, how we? I'm not. The, I can't fix the world. Thank you. Maybe it's the green jacket. I don't know. Black hijabs are just more flattering. <laughs> I look like modern hijabi. <laughs> you do not look anything like modern hijabi. Do you ever look up? Oh, is that what you tried to do there? You looked up modern hijabi and you tried to copy it as best you can. You absolutely don't. You, I, I still say you look like my ex-boyfriend's grandmother. You, you're leaning into that look instead of getting further away from it. Nemesis, thank you for the super chat, girl. How are you, baby? I missed you during my slumber. Do I make people cringe? Well, the way the cookie come, the cookie crumbles. Thank you for the super chat. It's called cornflakes, but cornflex <laughs> is actually really hilarious. So I think you like. Okay, I like that so much. That's so funny. We're stealing that. I don't care. Cornflakes, and instead cornflex. Next time I go and see Shannon and we like maybe go live together or whatever, maybe our thumbnail will be me and her in a box of corn flakes. <laughs> accidentally said something really funny. Hey, London Tipton. Welcome, ready, set, beach. <clears throat> Patricia, thank you for the super chat. Absolutely. No, you guys all lied to me about Missy Moo. 
So then I freaked out. Oh, no, it's not waterproof. <laughs> oh, listen to this. Now she's trying to spin it. You guys all lied about Missy Moo. When the Beezers told her that Pissy Poo had come in here and left the super chat and said what she did, they were lying to Chantal by telling her. Because Pissy Poo is denying that she came in here and left that super chat. Pissy Poo. The screenshots are all over Kiwi Farms. To uh, Twitter. We could click on it on live stream and literally have it take us to your channel. <laughs> girl. Pissy Poo. Too late to lie, girl. Flip flopper. Too bad. Blue Hunter, thank you for the super chat. But Chantal will go along with this lie. It's just, it's exactly like when Koki was clearly cheating on, well, it's not cheating on, sleeping with Dee Dee. Let's put it that way, okay? And this one stayed in denial, even though it was so obvious. She'll stay in denial about this too because she needs somebody on her side. And Pissy Poo, the flip-flopping lunatic, is the only one, I don't know, disgusting enough to stay there, deeply embedded up her ass. Luminara Unduli, thank you for the super chat. For nothing. But she didn't she didn't answer me back, so I wasn't sure. Like I thought I thought she did do that. And then I just didn't want I don't want to deal with it right now. <sighs> Mary Queen of Shots, thank you for the super tag world. <sighs> okay, plus. Speak, man. Don't be rude. <clears throat> when you spill the word flex, <laughs> flex, <laughs> corn flex, I love it. <clears throat> you did lie. Hey, Tracy is a peach. Oh, she's wait a minute. Okay, I'm now understanding what's going on. She's giving shit to A plus for lying about Pissy Poo, but A plus was not lying about Pissy Poo. Pissy Poo really did come in here and leave that super chat and say what she did and then flip flopped hard like the that she is. Okay, there was no lie. Don't take it out on A plus. Um, unhear drain. Thank you for the super chat. Who offered who a lot of? Star Creeper, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> Please sing the OG Degrassi song. All right. <clears throat> Wait. Thank you, Diego. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's the first time ever. I want her to sing the song. <laughs> sing it. <laughs> Do it. Wait, which one? Junior high or? Oh, junior high. Okay. Hold on. I don't know if it's the junior or the high one. I know. I'll just mix them together. Maybe. Cause one of them has the weight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> she killed Kenny. Thank you for the super chat. Good morning. Got it. Wait, wake up in the morning. Gotta shake. Okay. Wake up in the morning. Gotta shake the feeling. I gotta. It's good. I can't remember it. But then I look around and see that someone is smiling right at me. Wait. <laughs> that someone's talking to me. Hey, I have a new friend. Everybody can succeed. All you need is to believe. Be honest with yourself. But then, 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 come on, give us a try. The grassy junior high. <laughs> First and last time I'm ever going to enjoy her singing a song. I don't know if you guys had Degrassi. Like, I don't mean like Drake Degrassi. Okay. I'm talking about real fucking Degrassi. Don't give me the Drake Degrassi. I don't know if you guys had that in the States. It was the best show ever. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh, my God. And you know what's ironic? Speaking of uh, Drake's Degrassi, yesterday, just yesterday, me and my brother were talking about Drake and wondering why no other rapper has made, like, a diss track against Drake because there's been plenty of them that addresses Wheelchair Jimmy. Why don't they harp on G Wheelchair Jimmy? I don't get it. It's, like, the logical thing. 
You only had Drake Degrassi? Girl, you just showed your age, damn it. <laughs> Phoenix Flying, thank you for the super chat. If you don't know original Degrassi, listen. Oh, I know there's one person who knows it in here. Joey Jeremiah. Oh, my heart. My like original crush. The original little heartthrob of my <laughs> 10 year old uh, mind, you know? I love original Degrassi. <laughs> Do you Joey know? with that effing hat on when we were kids. Oh my God. Joey Jeremiah, you're here. Ah! I still get flustered when I see a little picture. Damn it, Joey Jeremiah. Fuck, Skats. <laughs> okay. I will try to learn it and come back and sing it. <laughs> Harry Amanda, Kitty. thank you for the super chat, girl. Sisters, it's good. How are you? <laughs> no, Roxy, of course I'm not. It's the freaking morning. I'm just, like, really, really tired. I barely slept. Even wanted to... What? Really, baby? Scarlet Bottega. It's called Maybelline Falsies. It's like a silver tube. I don't know. It's out. Hamilton, thank you for the super chat, girl. Rat face. <laughs> you had the mineral water. Hi, Tanya. Tanya, the fake lawyers. <laughs> don't be rude to people. Don't mind them, Tanya. She admitted to it in a video. You're hungover. Oh, I don't know how you drink it. I honestly, even like before I became Muslim, like, oh man, you see, guys see what happened to me when I would drink. You're really talking about Muslim while you're driving a car high as balls on edibles? And you're talking about even before I was Muslim. Mm, okay. Miss Floopa Booty, thank you for the super chat girl. Gosh. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she admitted to leaving a super chat. Oh, she doesn't have to admit to it. We can prove that she left the super chat. She's a moron for flip-flopping on that. Just, I don't know. If I was pissy poo and I wanted to like backtrack on what I had done, I would have been like, I was just emotional in the moment hearing that about BBJ. She manipulated me, Chantal. I didn't help it. I'm so sorry. Let me take my place right back in your pants, under your butt, you know? Don't try and deny that you sent the super chat. You're making a fucking fool out of yourself. We can prove you sent the, su the super chat. Gucci Gang Gamer Girl, thank you for the super chat. You people just want drama. Okay, I have to go. I have places to be, people to see. Maybe later tonight I'll go live. The Recovery Collective, thank you for the super chat. She was working during that time. <clears throat> You guys just want oh pissy poo was working during the time that the super chat was sent well then i guess it was one of her fucking dollies that sent the goddamn super chat from her account because the super chat definitely came from her account mm? shit maybe those dolls are more lifelike than we think Ooh, jennifer lynn thank you for the super chat drama Every time I would drink and feel sick, I'd say that. I don't want to drink anymore. Star <laughs> Creeper, thank you for the super chat, girl. You too, you too. Hey, Mary. So my nose is runny. Really, Rhonda? She Ew, she just peeled. Like like a chunk of pasties off of her lip. Ooh. FFG, go click on the profile and prove them wrong. I'm going to bring up the, the, the picture. I just didn't have the picture ready for the stream. I didn't know it would be such a thing. I'm sure she's not such a moron that she left it up until now. She must have gone and deleted it, like uh, retracted her super chat. You know what I mean? But it's there, and screenshots were taken of people proving that it was her. So, too late. Taz D, thank you for the super chat, girl. She said she didn't super chat her. I don't want any more drama either. I'm tired of it. No, FFG does not want a baby. What the fuck? 
Perksy, thank you for the super chat, girl. <clears throat> Just because I'm not bawling every second, Tiny, doesn't mean I'm not affected by it. That's BS. I'm actually very moody and have been crying. Actually, I was in a really fall mood last night. I didn't want to go live or anything. Hey, Monica, I'm so Real question here. If you still had so many days left in the villa, why did you give up the two cats so like early with so many days to go? If I was being like, I mean, you could, you can voluntarily take my pets away from me, but if I was like forced to give up the, let's say them the dog or whatever, it would be at the last second of the last day, every second together until I had to, you wanted those free days, like alone, you know, uh, I don't know. Diana, thank you for the super chat. So sorry. I hope you feel better. You're right. I don't trust like anyone online. <laughs> All right, guys. So I do have to go. Um, I will see you guys maybe later. Yeah, I get well soon, Monica. <laughs> yeah, PNV. <clears throat> we need your attention. Why did she even come live now? Is this just to be able to expense the fucking Starbucks? Is that how cheap you are? Because you're willing to show yourself high driving to expense a fucking Starbucks coffee? Who the hell would have come high again? Uh, who come high? <laughs> we would have never known you're driving high if you hadn't been live streaming it. I know, and I need your guys's too, but right now, you know, I have things I have to do. Hey, Vince Peasers. No, I'm not driving. <laughs> no, I want to just relax and, you know. <laughs> Sean Dahl's lawyer. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, kitty kins, yeah. PNV, I see you defending Chantel everywhere, you loyal beezer. Yeah, I know I do. I always see you. I know uh, Rhonda too. Certain people. Yeah, all the real psychos who go so hard for Chantal and actually go around defending her still, even now in this moment. You're fucking lunatics. Those are the ones never going to be welcome here. Mm -hmm. Deborah, thank you for the super chat. Aisha. Uh, Tiffany, you just got here. <clears throat> Okay. Um, I gotta go. Thank you so Sorry. much, Becky. I know it's only been 20 minutes. I, I didn't think it was this late. I'm running late. I'm not laughing at you, Tanya. I'm sorry. I, I think you're a really good lawyer. <clears throat> yeah, Mary, I don't... Everyone's laughing at you, Tanya, with your NDA. Jesus Christ, man. Such a good lawyer. Picks, thank you for the super chat. Maybe Google some lawyery shit before you claim to be a lawyer. I'm just saying. Blame you. Stay half an hour. <laughs> six minutes. Okay, I could say six more minutes. Ninja Cat, thank you so much for the super chat. No, I mean, it was a, just a joke. I laugh at everything. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, baby mom. I love coffee so much. Oh, man, I could go for a Nashi right now. I really wish Nashi's were a thing. Would you hire her as a lawyer? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not just going to hire somebody I don't know. So do it. Oh my God. Hire <laughs> the NDA woman as a lawyer. That'll go amazingly. Hmm. Charge her a lot of money too, NDA lunatic. Deborah, thank you for again for the super chat, girl. If she messaged me and like I got to know her, I don't know. Honestly, <clears throat> if she had an actual practice and everything and she was like a legit lawyer, why not? <laughs> thank you, pickle soup. Mm, I love pickles. Pickle soup. You're very needy beezers, Trixie. Better call Saul. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> so 
Oh, Aww. loving you, Karen. Thank you for the super chat. That's really sweet. So that she won't have a tattered blanket and Chantal's head won't fucking explode. <laughs> Kidding. She can click on the super chat and it goes to her channel. I'm not sure why she's lying about it. Really? I don't even know who you are, JKK. Why am I? I'm, I guess I'll have to try that. No, I don't know. I just don't care right now. Like, I just, I don't, honestly, you don't know who you can trust online. So. <clears throat> yeah, gold circle thing on my arm. Where? Oh, yeah. It's to roll the, to attach the sleeve. <laughs> really? Nobody can go to that channel except the moderators. I think that's only true during the stream. After the stream, when it uploads, anybody can be taken to their channel. I think during it's the mods and me only. Maybe during the stream, anyone can't do it. I don't fucking know. Turn my volume down. Holly, thank you for the super chat, girl. Blacks chaos. Not a whole lot, Blacks. I didn't go live much yesterday, actually. Hi, T-Bone. Hold on, I have to turn my Bluetooth off because people are annoying. So, you can go look for yourself. Ooh, Duchess. Ooh, thank you so much, Duchess. That's going to be awesome. Anyways, what I think is that regardless what happens, was her, wasn't her, I'm not being reactive to these kinds of things anymore. Not worth it. So, <clears throat> I will just... Oh, no, not another one. Another one. <laughs> Shell Thompson, thank you for the super chat. Starbucks is also not halal in Canada. Wow. So, yeah, hi, eating the haram and hiding behind your hijab is, you know, a choice. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the tea, girl. Oh, oh, you're right, Sean. I'm a hateful ass beach. Thank you for the super chat. This is just jet lag. Nothing else. Learn the lessons and move on. And that's it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anyways, I cannot believe that I'm going to be out of this. I don't know. My life just feels so weird. It's changing so bad. Last night I was like feeling really down <clears throat> and just like, oh, like overwhelmed. Feeling down because you realized you're fucking up. You're making a huge mistake. I don't know. You Again, you go with your instincts sometimes in life. And when your instinct is making you feel this depressed as you get closer and closer to being back with your fake husband, maybe it's your innards telling you not to do it and that you're fucking up here. Ninja Cat, thank you again for the super chat. Howie. 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 Yeah, it was. Thank you so much, Suzanne. I appreciate it. Yes, I don't allow attacking each other in my chats. Oh, I don't allow you to attack each other in the chats. Come on, guys. This is a positive place. You only attack the reaction channels and dox the fuck out of everyone you can. God forbid you turn on each other, though. You're not allowed. Leanda, thank you for the super chat, girl. No, she's not here in the chat because I called her out. Like, not called her out, but <clears throat> I said, like, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's true or not. But I heard that she sent FFG a supportive super chat then I don't really just believe things like just like that because there are trolls who make accounts in people's names. 
And however, she like that night I was bawling my eyes out. And then all day in my in my live stream yesterday, she wasn't there. Normally she's there being supportive. So that made me think, well, maybe she is does have a problem, you know. Have a problem with cat neglect, animal abuse. Yeah, she has a problem. She had a problem, but she flip flop good. <laughs> oh, Amber Dom, thank you for the super chat, girl. She does believe everything that she wants to believe. She's always been like that. Anyways, I have to go. Um, hmm. Lee, Rebecca, thank you for the super chat. That's okay. Fair point. I don't hate everything at Starbucks. They do make some good like iced tea. In the summer, I've had some good iced tea. I had some uh, refresher once that was like decent. You know, I'm, I'm not shitting on it. It's just their coffee that I don't find good at all. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> she posted a video saying she was done with you. Oh my God, be still my fucking heart. Joey Jeremiah wearing original heartthrob hat in photo. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for being here, Joey Jeremiah. Appreciate it. Whatever. I'm done with drama. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Um, maybe I will. Yeah. You too, Freya. Elizabeth, I saw that. Thank you for the super chat. That's so sad. Oh. Allison, thank you for the super chat, girl. So, sorry it was a quick bees today. I will see you guys maybe later tonight or something, okay? I have things to do and then I'll, I might be back after. <laughs> Bye, guys! Woo! Okay. I had tuned her out so badly at the end there, I didn't even realize that it was ending. <laughs> pull the Starbucks suck? We don't need to pull. The answer is yes, it sucks. <laughs> I'm using Vito on that one. It's Raptor Chick, babe. Thank you for the Super Jag roll. I appreciate it. I'm still behind on the chat. We've never done an entire three-hour live stream, and I'm still behind tonight. It's exceptionally horrific. Patricia, thank you for the super chat. Direct into the garbage. Girl, nobody wants that shit in their home. And to be fair, again, the cat shit in the car on the way home in the crate, so the shirt was kind of used as like a poop scoop. <laughs> Platty, thank you for the super sticker, girl. Starbucks, not worth it. Agreed. Even when I'm saying like, oh, I had a refresher that was pretty decent. In reality, it was just a cup of juice. It was fruit juice. Uh, I mean, very overpriced. Still good. <laughs> Has Harry died? Well, we don't know. She's pretending like he hasn't. Or acting like he hasn't, I should say. Sin, thank you for the super chat, girl. Um, Let me get the community tapos. We had said we would look at it together. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Priscilla, queen of the desert, thank you for the super chat, girl. All right, let me see her tab. It's, um, nope, still just the same picture. Hold on, let me pull it up. <clears throat> Wait, you got to read the top. <laughs> this shade of lipstick is NYX, or NYX, but NYX, whatever. Trophy wife. So here's the trophy wife, everybody. Did you get, did you get a good look? Is that what a trophy wife looks like in your imagination? Because, good Lord, it's not what mine looks like. <laughs> trophy wife. Oh. Didn't they have a shade called fake? Might have been more appropriate for you. Mika, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh. Oh, shit. Is this a real thing? Two words. Crochet cat sofa? Um... If that's a thing cats would love, that would be fucking adorable. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Crochet cat. So oh my god! Wait a minute. I'm having a flashback when Chantal to that went to that like farmers market type like artisan thing. There definitely was crocheted cat sofas. I remember her being too cheap to buy one. <gasps> you know how to make one of those? Oh my god, girl! <laughs> that's amazing. Tanya from a very real law school in. CA. Mm, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. I just posted a Photoshop under your tweet announcing of the stream. You may use it in the future. Oh, it's a cornflakes must. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I will use it on the the corn uh, thumbnail the next time I'm there to see Shannon when we react to this heifer together. <laughs> That'll be great. Thank you so much. Miss Molly, thank you for the super chat. Ice chai tea latte. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. I like chai. That, that sounds really good. I would try that. Mm. Maybe one day. <laughs> Miss Molly, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it, girl. Shiny Space Trash, thank you for the super chat. Um, I can make you a cat sofa. Oh, you guys are so talented. Y'all crocheting and shit. I love it. Thanks, guys. Gerald from YouTube Support, thank you again for the super chat. She absolutely is. Bloop, indeed. <laughs> Deborah Matthews, thank you for the super chat. BBJ Freedom Train, yay. BBJ and Sam. Sam seemed happy where he was. Okay, well fair will get like less updates if ever but he seemed okay you know what i mean for my own mind i'm gonna have to believe like sam's okay so to move on because i would kind of like to move on although yeah we will have updates about bbj we'll see what's going on with her health next week and stuff we're not fucking doing cats every day on this channel i am not a cat person i am not here for cat content every fucking day yeah we watch our guilty pleasure the cat's a thing not the thing um, a non, wait, a non noodle. Thank you so much for the super chat. How about a PO box to send gifts for BBJ? Um, I don't know. I'm very conflicted about that. Honestly, it's very kind of you guys to offer, but BBJ is going to be fine. Like, or is fine. You know what I mean? Uh, well, taking your BBJ doesn't need or want for anything and never will. I think it would be cool if let's say the money that would be spent or the items purchased to send to BBJ send them to, like to a, a cat foundation, a pet, anything in your city, in your town, buy them maybe what's missing at the shelters. Y'all, we could, we could do for the greater good here. BBJ literally doesn't ever need for anything and never will. So I think that's the right thing to do here. And I would appreciate the hell out of that. Do that like on behalf of BBJ. That's a beautiful thing. Pay it forward a little bit. You know, she doesn't need anything. She's going to be all right. MR, thank you for the super chat, girl. She's a trophy wife. If you got last place, bloop. <laughs> I fucking love that so much. Holy shit. All right. We agree about the donations. I'm glad we all agree. I just, I, I honestly, come on. Give me, it's the right thing to do. Let's spread the love a little bit here. Donate to shelters. Yes. Think globally, act locally. Yes, girl. Exactly. I am all about, you know, we in the SPCA here and stuff. I'm I'm a I'm a fanatic about my city. I love my city. I like to do for my city. Like, not to be too selfish here, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? If everybody did a little bit for their city, we would all kind of be taking care of our own spots, right? So take care of your own spot. Do a little something for your city. Donate on behalf of BBJ, on behalf of Sam, and pay it forward a little. We could do a lot of good again here, you know. I love that. And I appreciate the hell out of that, guys, by the way. Hmm. Yes, lots of fur babies are not as lucky as BBJ. That's a perfect way of putting it. I totally, totally agree. So we'll spread the love and do something great here. Hmm? I give back to the local Humane Society where I adopted my two fur babies. So that, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about right there. Fantastic. And so, so, so appreciated, you know? In this kind of a, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to start preaching, but in this kind of economy too, you know that when money is tight for people, donations tend to be a thing that people, you know, either don't give or give less or whatever. Those are the type of things that are affected in this kind of an economy. So doing a little more now or doing what wouldn't have been done now, extra appreciated and extra needed. Taz D, thank you again for the super chat. I already sent something. If you donate it locally, I would fully understand. Thank you so, so much. That was very, very kind of you to do. I appreciate it. Well, y'all, this was a long one. We've been here for over three hours. I'm sorry to have kept you here this long. It was a good time and a bad time. She's a raging asshole, but I love you guys. And we had a good time together and some laughs. No butt stuff, no cheese. We'll keep that for tomorrow, okay? We're moving the cheese and butt stuff to Sunday. It's an exceptional week this week. <laughs> guys, thank you again so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I know I said we would look at 
that deleted rage that she went on the other day and deleted and said she was calling the cops and stuff. I don't really want to continue on right now. Uh, <laughs> to be totally honest, we've been here a long, long time. My ear is pulsating. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what time. Maybe we will watch that one together on the Twitch, okay? I want it to be an intimate bees setting. It's a crazy fucking live stream and I just want to be chill and like laughing with you guys. So the intimate bees setting is going to be it. I will let you know way ahead of time before we're going to go live over there, but we'll do it there. Okay. Thank you guys again. So, so much for being here. Thank you for your patience that I have. I caught up on the chat only like three minutes ago. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Everybody enjoy the rest of your Saturdays. Soak up every second of it. Have a great time. Please be safe. Keep your masks on and I will see you back here tomorrow and on the tw uh, Twitch tomorrow. We'll have a good time tomorrow. Bye guys.